Rebound taken away by Lankus. Throws it out and taken away from uh, them now. Quickly down to Lankus. He goes out for the jam. Down the line, little Timmy Dobbins. Get it on his basketball action. Monday, Monday's going to drive down, get to Miller. Miller for three. Yes, that's a bummer. Congratulations on this opening season opening win and looking forward to see what the uh, next season I. 3.8 seconds to go. 56, 56. Don't go anywhere, folks. And he'll shoot for the push at the buzzer. It's good. Clark Ray's win. I'm Gary Clark. See you at the game. And welcome to York Institute as we get set for basketball action here this afternoon. It's going to be York and uh, Cannon County. And this one, some District 8 AA action uh, coming up here in just a moment. York comes into this game, uh, this girls matchup, 5 and 4 and 1 and 1 overall, while T Cannon County comes in 10 and 3, 1 and 1 overall. We'll take a look at these two teams, plus uh, we'll take a look at uh, some other action that came up today, and we'll take a look at some action coming up on Thursday and a lot more stuff coming up right here on the Progressive. Free game show. Cheer this year for all our school teams and activities. Get behind our local schools. Join the parent teachers group and help improve the quality of education. Sponsor school activities. Go to a ball game, hear a concert, read Shire. Progressive Savings Bank, insured by FDIC. And right back here at York Institute, we're getting set for girls' action. Get underway here in just a moment. As we said, you've got the 5-4 and four Lady Dragons against the 10-3 and three Lady Lions in this one. If you look at district action, uh, the Kenny County Lions have come in this. they beat beaten Watertown, and they lost to Macon County. And folks, a lot of folks have lost to Macon County this year. Taking a look at uh, last year, York won both uh, matchups in the regular season, 61-59 at Cannon County, 62-53 here at York Institute, and they won the district tournament, 59-54. Now, before last year's uh, sweep, Cannon County had won 11 of the last 12 games before that, so Cannon County has uh, been a pretty dominant team over the years. They struggled a little bit last year. Now, Cannon County has won five of the last seven games they played this season, so they're on a bit of a roll right now. While uh, Cannon County, or they do have one opponent in a common, uh, that would be the Clay County Lady Bulldogs as York beat Clay County 55-47. Kenny County beat Clay County 63-41. Let's take another quick timeout for a word from Progressive Savings Bank, and we'll be back in a moment with more from York Institute. Cheer this year for all our school teams and activities. Get behind our local schools. Join the Parent Teachers Group and help improve the quality of education. Sponsor school activities. Go to a ball game, hear a concert, read Shire. Progressive Savings Bank, insured by FDIC. Right back here at York Institute. We're getting set for girls' action, uh, York and Kenny County. Now, earlier today, Clark Range girls wrapped up their Pensacola trip as they beat uh, Evangelical Christian by a score of 73-22. Clark Range won that division in uh, that one. Now, Clark Range boys are taking on Faith Baptist at the Oneida Classic. That one tips off in about oh, an hour, about 15 minutes from now, I should say. Now, Livingston and Clint is taking on Clinton today. Oneida's at uh, Cookville or at Creek or taking on Creekwood and Sunbright's taking on Unica. That's all in the Big South Fort Physical Therapy Tournament over in Scott County. So, so lot, some action going on around the area today. Now, the Bobcats and Lady Bobcats have the day off. They'll be at Livingston on Friday. You can hear those games here on WDB. And after tonight, your course kicks into their annual. Uh, Sergeant York Southeastern uh, Christmas Tournament, which is coming up on uh, Thursday, and uh, that will uh, be taking place at here at York Institute, so be sure to check out that. We'll have a little bit more on that later on the news as I took a chance to talk with Philip Paul about that. Let's take a final break from Progressive Savings Bank, and then we'll be back with more in a moment. this year for all our school teams and activities. Get behind our local schools. Join the parent teachers group and help improve the quality of education. Sponsor school activities. Go to a ball game, hear a concert, read Shire. Progressive Savings Bank, insured by FDIC.
and back here we're getting ready for our opening ceremonies here in just a moment so we'll take a break on that uh, and then we'll be back to take a look at starting lineups so don't go anywhere word you have to have when you choose a pharmacy and Clark Range Drug Center has worked hard to earn yours whether filling a prescription or giving advice on non-prescription medicine or health and beauty aids Clark Range Drug Center is the place to go for expert advice Clark Range Drug Center always earning your confidence like a great sports team needs a great captain to lead them a county needs a great executive to move it forward and Pinterest County has it in Jenny Johnson Jimmy believes in this county and its endless possibilities. So for great sports and a great county, be like County Executive Jimmy Johnson and back Ventress County all the way. Whether you're competing on the athletic field or working hard in the classroom, remember you have the support of First Volunteer Bank, the bank with personality. We're behind you 100% of the way. Good luck to all the area teams. Play tough and play fair. And remember when it comes to helping you with your banking needs, we're First Volunteer Bank, the bank with personality. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. And now over and over. And over. The Gary Maxwell Insurance Office offering area insurance is located at 300 West Central Avenue in Jamestown. Get a free quote for your home, auto, life, or business with no obligation to buy. Call 879-1251. Shane Beatty, Katie Cooper, Tammy Robbins, and Brad Rains agents, along with Jeff Robbins' manager, will be happy to assist you. That's Gary Maxwell Insurance, located at 300 West Central Avenue with locations in Livingston, Cookville, and Gainesboro. And now we'll have our starting lineups, uh, first of all, for the visitors uh, from uh, Cannon County. They will start with Jesse Kaufman, number four. Number 21, number 21 Kristen Fan. Number 24, Anna Grace Sism. Number 24, Anna Grace Sism. Number 25, Shelby uh, Smithson. And number 22, Taylor Meeks, your starting lineup for the visitors from uh, Cannon County as uh, we have uh, now uh, time for the lights to go down and the spotlight to come up. It's time for your York Lady Dragons as the Dragons get ready uh, to tip off in a huge district matchup here. One both these teams need to win. To stay in that upper echelon of the district race right now. You're going to be playing without Michaela Reagan. Michaela had two game suspension for an altercation over at uh, Stone Memorial against Jackson County. So this will probably be her second one. Uh, and now the Lady Dragons. York coming in here five and four on the season. They're going to be starting with Ellie uh, Lefew. Uh, York starts a young squad. They'll start another freshman, Gabby Abatey. Gabby's another freshman uh, starting for the LA Dragons. Sophomore Sage Smith will be starting tonight. Junior number three, Haley Johnson. She's what stirs the stick for the Lady uh, Dragons, and then uh, they'll be starting. Lily can answer tonight in place of Michaela Reagan, as we said. Reagan having that in suspension for getting into an altercation against Jackson County uh, that uh, Stone Memorial Tournament. And uh, I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully, we're getting this uh, on uh, live on the cable. We're hopefully uh, uh, trying new uh, technology here today, and uh, keeping our fingers crossed on this one as we're getting ready for this one to tip off here in just a moment. It'll be Ellie Lefty to jump it up against number 24, Anna Grace Sism. Here we go, time to line them up, tip it off, and get it on, girls basketball action. Lefty to jump it up, and the opening tip belongs to Lady Dragons and Haley uh, Johnson. Johnson with the basketball, Johnson driving down, backs it out. Johnson with the ball now, will take it all the way to the rack, put it up, no good. Rolls off, rebound pulled away by Cannon County. Pulled down this time by number 25, Smithson. Uh, quickly up into front court, they'll give it up to Fan. Fan with the ball back out front now. We'll send it over to uh, 
Kaufman. Kaufman back out front to Fan. Fan with the basketball. Takes it over right side this time. They're going to work it down back inside to a fan. Fan dish off good. The inside pass to number 24. Puts that no good. Follow-up blocked by Beatty, then taken away, and now it's going to be tied up between uh, Fan and Lefew. Make it Kaufman and Lefew. Sorry about that. Kaufman tying that one up. It'll be to work it in. Uh, they'll work it in this time to Fan. Fan with the basketball. Brings it back out front. Meeks now working it over left side uh, to uh, Fan. Fan back out to uh, number 22, Meeks. Up to Kaufman. Kaufman with the basketball down the right side. We'll swing it back out front. Now they're going to take it over this time to uh, Kaufman on the left side. Kaufman driving his left. You travel with it. Kaufman turns it over. Back on the Lady Dragons. Full court pressure now by the uh, Lady Lions. They'll get it into Johnson. York with the basketball. Johnson going to bring it on the run. Johnson with the ball. Easily in the front court. Kicks down quickly to Canancer. Canancer up and good. Lilly with the first two of the ball game. <laughs> Lilly Canancer gets free for the easy two. Back the other way. Driving down. Putting it up. Number 22 way off the mark as that was Meeks putting up the runner off the mark. Rebound Johnson. Johnson in the front court. Gets down. Good pass. The left you up and good. Good ball movement by the Lady Dragons early in this one. As with the basketball now, six and a half minutes left to go here in quarter number one. It's a four-nothing Cannon or York lead on Cannon County. They get Kaufman out front. Kaufman, they're trying to get inside number 25. Now Kaufman going to drive and lay it up and score. Kaufman with the first two of the night for Cannon County. Back the other way, quickly in the front court comes Johnson. Johnson will step back, fire the long three, good. The Comet knocks it down, and it's a 7-2 ball game. With the basketball into front court, uh, will come number 21. That's Fan. Fan over to Kaufman. Kaufman trying to answer way off the mark. Rebound pulled by Sage Smith, but she stepped out of bounds with it. York got the rebound, and it goes out of bounds, though, and it will be back to uh, Cannon County underneath their own basket. Looking to work it in. They'll throw it in out front this time uh, to uh, Sism. Sism looking to drive, drops it low. They'll give it over this time uh, to uh, Sism. Sism with the basketball. She'll drop it low, and there's Kaufman again. And Kaufman's going to be fouled by Johnson. Johnson's going to pick up the personal. And at the line will be number four, Kaufman. Kaufman's first one, good. She'll have one more. Second one, good as well. Hits both ends of it, and it's a 7-4 York lead now. Now on the inbounds pass, got a foul on number 22, Meeks. Getting a little too close and personal with Johnson. York will have it back. York will work it in. They'll get it in this time to Johnson. Johnson with the ball. Johnson going to be fouled by Meeks quickly. Meeks picking up two quick ones here. York with a three-point lead and the basketball. Facing full court pressure. Lefty looking to bring it. Gets it into Smith. Sage with the ball. will bring it up. Smith works it into front court. Takes it over right side. Smith with the ball. Smith working it out front. Comes around the pick of Beatty. Beatty gets it over to Canancer. Canancer with the ball. Back out front to Johnson. Johnson around the side. Johnson looking to drive. Drives down all the way through. Pop, tried to keep it back out. Knocked away up in the air, and it's knocked away and coming away with Cannon County. Sism with the ball. Going to work it up quickly. Sism uh, into front court. Holds up. Pulls up. Gives it off to Fan. Fan with the basketball. Fan. Gives it over this time uh, to uh, number 25, Smith. And Smith and back across the fan. Fan going to spin, try to go inside. Lost the ball, kicks it back out to Smith. And now over uh, to uh, number 14, uh, driving and putting it up. And scoring is uh, Gaither. Madison Gaither with the basket, her first two. She came in for Meeks. He picked up two quick ones. And we're down to a one-point ball game. And she can uh, put us at even if she hits this one, makes the natural three. 
And she does not. Rims out. Rebound pulled down by York. A left few over to Beatty. Beatty in the front court. Beatty with the basketball. Leaves it for Smith. Smith. Working it out front. Gives it off to Beatty. Beatty over to left few. Left few works it down into Johnson. Johnson trying to spin in the lane. Double team gets free. Gives it off left few. Left few up. No good. Rebound pulled down by Sism. Says them with the ball, and Kenny County can take the lead with four minutes to go here in the first quarter. Hall coming in, stripped and stolen. Good hands by Smith. Smith over to Johnson. Johnson going to drop it off for Smith. Smith will lay it up and in. Sage with her first two. Good move, and uh, York up by the tray. With the basketball will come Fan. Fan going to walk it into front court. Lobs it down underneath, wide open for the left is uh, Simpson can't get or Smithson can't get to drop. Rebound pulled up by York. York with the basketball. Three and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter on a three-point York lead. Smith with the ball right side. Gonna come back out front now to Johnson. Gives it over to Canancer. Canancer inside to Johnson. Johnson tried to pitch it out to Beatty Tip, but Beatty comes up. He goes back inside to Johnson. Johnson out to Smith. Smith top of the key. Goes right side to Johnson. Johnson's going to drive down, take the short jumper. It won't go. Rebound Gabby Beatty. Back up, won't go. Rebound pulled down by Beatty. Back up and go. Gabby Beatty, good job staying after it. And it's a five-point York lead. Back the other way now, Fan with the ball. Fan's just going to take the three from there. No good. Rebound pulled by Lefew. Out to Smith, and Smith going to push it on the run. Smith front court gives it out to Johnson. Johnson drives in, puts up the runner. No good. Rebound Fan. Fan with the ball. Works it in the front court. Knocked away, and it's out of bounds off of York. Blevins going to air the line up, and uh, Hall's going to air the line up as Lefew and Beatty come out. 2.21 left to go here in this quarter. Ball come in this time uh, to Kaufman. Kaufman down to Fan. They'll lob it inside, going again inside to uh, that. Now, good pass into Kaufman who gets a layup. Somebody got uh, lost to uh, Kaufman, and Kaufman gets the layup. 11-8 now, your score. Two minutes left to go here in the first quarter. Ball goes over to Blevins. Blevins with the ball. Gives it out to Johnson. Johnson going to drive. Puts the runner up good. Haley gets the two right back, and it's a back to a five-point York lead. 13-8, your score. Long pass over to Kaufman. Kaufman out front to Sism for a three. No good. Rebound pulled by Johnson, and Haley will bring it. Haley with the basketball, works it down in, gives it out to Canancer. Canancer will back it out. Canancer with the ball, gives it to Johnson. 80 seconds left to go here in the quarter. Ball goes over to Smith. Back up front to Johnson, and we're going to have a foul on uh, number 14, Gaither. 13 foul on the Lady Lions. As York going to work it in. They get it in this time uh, to Canancer. Canancer with the ball. Gives it over to Smith. Sage with the ball. Sage working it out front. Goes on right side to Johnson. Johnson going to drive in. Almost has it stolen. Gets it back. Will spin in the lane. Now go out to... Uh, Blevins and Blevins going to be foul on the reach, and I believe that's going to go against Fan on the reach. Yeah, it will. That'll be her first team's fourth. 52 seconds left to go here in quarter number one. As into the game for York now will come show Lauren in for the first time, the freshman. They'll work it into Smith. Sage with the ball. Five-point York lead here in the first quarter, 45 seconds to go. Smith looking to drive, drives down, cut off. Kenny Kane fans wanted to walk, no call. Now Johnson going to spin, go underneath the lead up and in. Haley's got seven here in the first quarter. 
15-8, your score. Fan with the basketball. Fan goes inside to Cobbman. Cobbman going to drive it low uh, this time to Smithson, and Smithson is going to be fouled as she drives to the rack. And that's going to go against Isabella. So Izzy B gets her first of the ball game. Team's third. Free throw line goes uh, Smithson. She missed the front end of it. Shelby Smithson missed the front end of it. We'll have one more. Second one is good. She hits one out of two. That's back to a six-point ball game. Front court comes uh, Smith. She's working over the left side. Sage tries to get off to Show Knocked away, but Show comes up with Lauren with the ball, working it over. Now looks for Smith, gives it to Smith. Smith got to fire it up the buzzer way off the mark, and we are through one. End of one, York leads it 15-9. Are you still filling your prescription at a chain or big box pharmacy? This is Philip Hall encouraging you to make the switch to Hall Family Pharmacy. When you do business with Hall Family Pharmacy, you're helping to support local schools and organizations because we reinvest your money right back into the community we call home. Each prescription filled at a locally owned pharmacy is money kept in the community. We provide jobs for people right here in Fincher's County. We offer countywide delivery, and we are the only pharmacy contracted with an independent and family-based drug wholesaler who is also dedicated to the well-being of our region. Prescription and drug abuse plagues our region, and by filling your prescription at Hall Family Pharmacy, you're supporting efforts to stop the abuse. Stop by or give us a call at one of our convenient locations in Jamestown or Clark Range, and our helpful staff will help you make the switch today. Back here where uh, York uh, leads uh, by six as we head into uh, frame number two, as uh, still, uh, we apologize, those just goes originally to have been uh, shown live on Twin Lakes Cable Channel 953 and Comcast Cable Channel 12, but some technical difficulties with that. We apologize for that. And it will be York basketball to work in on the side. Left, you're going to bring it in. Works it into Johnson. Or I should say into Smith. Smith with the ball now. Sage out front. Working around, gives it back out front to Johnson. Johnson with the ball. Over now to uh, Cancer. Lily back in. Lily looking for some help, gives it off to Smith. Smith going to drive down, cut off, and we have a blocking foul on Smithson. Smithson's got her first. And York will work it in. Baseline. It'll be Johnson to bring it in. Looking, looking, gets it in to Cancer. Lily with the ball left side. Back out front to Smith. Smith with the ball, working it out front, drives around, takes it down the baseline, puts up the jumper block. Blocked out of bounds by Sism. It will be York basketball. They'll wall lob it in out to uh, to. Uh, can answer down into Beatty. Beatty going to take it low, knocked away, and it's going to be off the hands of Johnson, though, out of bounds back to Cannon County. Seven twenty left to go here in the first half of play. 15-9 your score. With the basketball out front is Fan. Fan gives it over this time to Gaither. Gaither drives in, kicks it across. Now back out front, going to be knocked away, but a Fan will run it down. Good hands by York. Fan looking to drive, drives all the way, puts up the runner, no good. Rebound tipped around and still on the floor. Lefty comes out with it. Ellie with the ball. Gets it over to Smith, down to Beatty. Beatty going to drive the baseline, and Beatty going to be called for the offensive foul. Good job that time by Kaufman to set up and take the charge. York still leads by six. 5.45 left to go in the first half. With the ball will come Fan. Fan in the front court. Gives it over this time uh, to Kaufman. Kaufman with the ball. Now to Gaither. Looks three now drives down baseline. Cut off, goes inside to uh, Smithson. 
Back out to Fan. Fan around the pick. Gives it out to Smithson. Going over right side this time uh, to Cobman. Cobman's going to drive and Cobman's going to be fouled. She'll get a couple of them. That'll go against Leftview. Leftview picks up her first. Team's uh, fifth, but at the line will be Kaufman. And no good on the front of it. She'll have one more. York by six. Free throw good. It's one out of two, and it's back to a five-point ball game. 15, 10, 6, 10 left to go here in the quarter. Coming in number one, uh, Mason will come in a moment for Cannon County. Lefty with the ball. Lefty trying to work it down. Tries to get inside, does it. Johnson, good pass. Johnson lays up, can't get to go, though. Rebound taken away by Kaufman. Kaufman, long pass out to Fan. Fan one-on-one -on -one against Lefty. Going to take it hard to the rack. Blocked by Lefty, but coming up with Sism, and she's going to be fouled. That's going to go against the York's uh, Lily can answer. And that'll send to the line number 24, Sism. First one, no good from the iron. Gaither comes out now as Mason enters the lineup, as Beatty comes out for York, and Hull comes back in. Second one, good. Anna Gray Sism hits one out of two, and it's a four-point ball game. Still working in to left you, left you out to can answer. Can answer will back it out, and we got a turnover by can answer. So she carried the ball. And York wants to talk about it. timeout on the floor. With timeout, we got 5:39 to go in the half. It's 15-11. York. <laughs> Peggy Farmers Co-op, your local hometown store, proudly supporting our hometown of Love and Dragons. Co-op is you a winning season one game at a time. Co-op, your first choice for farm, home, lawn, and garden, and a gift shop for giving and decorating needs. Co-op, serving this area for 70 years with quality products. That's your co-op, located just two miles south of Daniel. And here we go with uh, York now leading by four. Cannon King trying to make a run at it. Cannon King with the ball can cut this down to a one possession game on this trip. They'll walk it up. It'll be Fan with the basketball. Fan in the front court gives it over this time to Simpson. Simpson working it out front. Uh, Lose the handle, gets it back. Simpson with the ball down to Fan. Fan inside to Simpson. Good pass. Simpson caught that low. Now dishes it off to the cutting. Kaufman who lays it up and in. Kaufman has made this a two-point ball game with 5.17 to go here in the first half of play. York with the basketball. They'll work it over now. Driving in Johnson. Cross cross court to Hull. Throws it away as uh, Hull couldn't handle the pass. That'll bring Blevins back in. Blevins will come in. Hull will come out. Cannon County a chance to tie or take the lead on this trip down the floor. 5.06 to go here in the quarter. It will be to work it over. In the front court, they'll go over to uh, Smithson. Smithson's going to be fouled, and that one's going to go against Blevins. Blevins picks up the personal. That sends uh, Smithson to the line. Smithson will have a pair of them here. Can tie the game with these two. First one, no good. Cannon County has left a lot of points of the charity stripe here in this first half. We'll have one more. Second one, good. 15-14, we got 4.53 left to go here in the first half. York with a basket. Ball and a one-point lead. They'll take it over to Cananser. Cananser with the ball inside to Lefty. Lefty trying to take it, gets it out to Cananser. Cananser with the ball over to Johnson. Johnson back out front now to Smith. Smith working it right side, looking to drive. Drives in, dumps out. Blevins wide open for the layup. Good move by Smith. Good pass into Blevins for the easy deuce. York by three now with 4.26 to go here in the first half. 
He'll lob the ball inside to Smithson, and Smithson's going to be fouled by Smith. I've got that first on Smith. They say that's her second. So there's the one I missed earlier. Sage got one earlier. I was thinking it was, but I wasn't positive on that one, folks. So it was uh, Smith picking up the foul. Had the line, Smithson. First one good. She is now three of five on the night. Kaufman will come out. Into the ball game comes number 23. That is Macy Sellers. Back of the line. Smithson drills it. It's back to a one-point ball game. 4-16 left to go here in the uh, first half of play. Ball goes over to, to uh, Blevins. Blevins going to kick it out now to uh, Smith. Smith will drive in, put up the little jumper. No good. Rebound knocked out, and it goes out of bounds off of Cannon County. That was a good call because that one, uh, Smith actually did knock that one out of bounds. It'll be Johnson to bring it in, Johnson to work it in. Throws it into Blevins. Blevins uh, takes look, takes a short jumper. Good. Blevins has got a couple of big baskets here and pushed it back to a three-point ball game. Front court now will come. Uh, Fan with the ball. Fan goes over right side this time uh, to uh, number one, uh, Mason. Now off to uh, Sism. Sism tried to go up and under. Way off the mark. Blevins gets the pass. Uh, rebound gets it out this time to Smith, Smith with the ball, long pass over right through the hands of Beatty, but runs it down the corner. Kicks it back out front now to Smith, Smith with the ball. 3.26 left to go here in the first half. York with the ball. Driving is Johnson, Johnson puts it up, no good. Rebound pulled over, firing up Beatty, no good. Rebound this time, we're gonna have a push and foul on Mason. Good board work that time by Johnson to get in position, and then uh, Mason tried to push her out of position to get the ball, but picks up the person. They'll lob it into Johnson. Johnson spins, traveled. Wipe it off, they're gonna say she walked with it. Kaufman gonna re-enter. Kaufman re-enters for Simpson. Simpson will come out, and here come the Lady Lions with a chance to uh, cut in two or tie this ball game with a three. Front court comes Fan, Fan with the ball. Fan works it over right side to Mason, down inside to Kaufman, Kaufman back out front to Fan. Fan gonna spin in the lane, lose the handle, knocked away, stolen, good hands. As a answer comes up, it gives it over to Johnson, and Johnson's gonna be fouled by Fan, and Fan, that little frustration there. Had the ball stripped and picks up the personal, and you don't wanna send Johnson to the line. If you're Cannon County, as Johnson will go to the line with a one and one here. Haley will step to the line with a three-point lead and 2.47 to go in the quarter. First free throw, good. She'll have one more. Lefty's going to come in for an answer. At the line will be Johnson. Free throw, good. Hits both ends of it. It's back to a five-point Lady Dragon advantage. Kenny can't go walk it up. They'll take their time. Kaufman with the ball. Gives it over this time uh, to Gaither. Gaither looks three. Now gives it back out front uh, to uh, Johnson. And Johnson, uh, we have a timeout on the floor. Timeout as uh, Kenny Kane throws it away. We got 2.30 to go here in the first half. Let the cold this winter. Carrier has a complete line of home heating products to keep your family comfortable this season without burning your budget. With smart temperature management and remote access options, it's easier than ever to control your home's climate and reduce utility bills without sacrificing comfort. For more complete comfort and greater peace of mind, call Condition Heating and Cooling. Carrier, turn to the experts. Call Condition Heating and Cooling today and ask about our financing options. Condition Heating and Cooling. So York with the basketball and a five-point lead, two and a half minutes left to go here in quarter number two. 
Across the timeline comes Johnson. Johnson now uh, facing that 1-2-2 uh, two, two trap by Cannon County. As Cannon County with the ball, looking for some room. Uh, now is Johnson. He'll uh, throw it up and picked off. Knocked away and picked off by Kaufman. Kaufman's got the lead and the layup. York struggling with his 1-2-2 two, two trap defense. It's half-court trap of Cannon County. He'll send it over to Smith. Smith with the ball. Smith going to drive, try not to get trapped. Does get trapped, has it taken away, and has it tied up. And uh, goes to Cannon County on the alternating possession. York struggling on this half-court trap of Cannon County's. They'll work it in this time to uh, number 22, Meeks. Meeks with the ball. Meeks got in foul trouble early. Gives it off to Gaither. Mason with it on the left side now. He'll cross court it over to Meeks. Meeks for a three in the tie. No good. Rebound Johnson, and here comes York. Johnson with the ball. Gives it over to Beatty. Beatty, that one's off. Rebound pulled down, and uh, Kenny K comes out with it. And we're going to have a double dribble on Cannon County. Cannon County turns it over. York with the ball, leading by three and 80 seconds to go here in the quarter. Smith will give it over to Johnson. Johnson going to cross court it now uh, to uh, Beatty. Beatty up and good. Gabby with two more. York by a nickel with 68 seconds to go in the quarter. Back to Lloyd Kaufman, and Kaufman's going to be bumped by Beatty. Gabby will pick up her second. Kaufman already in double digits with 11. Hull and can answer come back in. Smith will come out. Beatty will come out. 64 seconds left to go here in uh, the first half. 23-18. And it stays that way as missing the front end is Kaufman as Cannon can leaving a lot of points in the stripe. Johnson with the ball. Cannon can drops back into the man-to-man -man now. Kind of surprised. Uh, looked as though now Johnson going to drive, puts it up, partially blocked. The rebound knocked around, coming out with his... Uh, Hawk Kaufman, Kaufman, long pass up to Meeks. Meeks will lay it up and in. Meeks got free for the easy deuce. Her first two of the night. 30 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Now Cannon came back into that 1-2-2 two, two trap as they'll give it over to Knanser. Uh, Knanser working it around. Gives it back up to Johnson over to Lilly. Lilly goes under a good pass to uh, Hall, but Hall bounced it off her foot out of bounds. Hull turns it over. Just under 17 seconds left to go here in quarter number two. Headed to halftime of this one. We'll have the old Ben Franklin halftime stats coming up in just a moment. With the ball out front now, and we're going to have a travel as uh, taking a step was uh, Sism, and Sism turns it over. In will come Showed, in will come uh, Beatty as Ellie and uh, Lily will come out, or Millie, well, Millie, Millie will come out. So now York's only got four on the floor. No, they got five on the floor. They had another, now Schultz with the ball. Schultz got to put it up, and she does get the shot off, and that's where we end. We're at halftime of this one, and at the half, it's York, 23, Cannon County, 20. Time now for the old Ben Franklin halftime stats brought to you by old, or actually not old Ben Franklin Ford no longer. It's now Showtime video. The name may have changed, but the deals, they're the same. We're now under new ownership, and that means we can offer you better deals, improved service, and make your experience a much more pleasant one. So if you're in the need or you want a new car, truck, or SUV, the deals will never be better. Now let me introduce Melissa Sells, new owner of the all-new Showtime Ford. 
My husband Derek and I are honored to be your hometown Ford dealer. Many of you know us from Showtime Trailers and Clark Range. We want to invite everyone out to Showtime Ford, where our customers are number one and relationships are built on honesty and integrity. So come and see us for business online at www.showtimeford.com. Call us 1877 New Remember, folks, the all new show time forward, where Ford's are cheaper. I'll be at Listen to WDEV for our grand opening announcement. And our halftime spot. Uh, Scoring uh, for the halftime or halftime stats brought to you by Showtime Ford. Uh, York being paced by Haley Johnson with nine. Four for Gabby Beatty. Uh, four for Isabella Blevins. Two each for Sage Smith, Ellie Lefew, and Lily can answer. For the late lines, they are paced by Jesse Kaufman with 11. And they've got Anna Grace Sism with one. Four for Shelby Smithson. Two in the game for Taylor Meeks and two for Gaither or Madison Gaither in his first half as uh, York uh, lit, trailed 15-9 uh, at the end of one, trailed 23-20 here at the half. Time now for another break from, from our Showtime video, or Showtime uh, Ford. That's why I'll get it right in a minute, folks. Ford's uh, cheaper out in the country. We're now under new ownership, and that means we can offer you better deals, improved service, and make your experience a much more pleasant one. So if you're in the need or you want a new car, truck, or SUV, the deals will never be better. Now let me introduce Melissa Sells, new owner of the all-new Showtime Ford. My husband Derek and I are honored to be your hometown Ford dealer. Many of you know us from Showtime Trailers and Clark Range. We want to invite everyone out to Showtime Ford where our customers are number one and relationships are built on honesty and integrity. So come and see us for business online at www.showtimeforward.com. Call us, 1877 New Ford. Remember, folks, the all new Showtime Ford, where Fords are cheaper. I'll be at Listen to WDEV for our grand opening announcement. And back here at uh, York Institute, we're uh, set for the second half of this girls' contest to get underway. York leading 23-20 here at the half. This is a huge. And uh, it will be uh, York, I believe, getting the ball to start the second half. York going to be moving left to right this half. Uh, yeah, Kenny Kenny moves right to left. 23-20, uh, York trailing or leading by three. York has led the entire ball game, has never trailed in the game, so the LA Dragons going to try to extend that lead here as Cannon County had cut it a couple of times to one, but have never got uh, back ahead in the ball game. York with their starting five back in. Smith working it now. Uh, he takes it over the right side. Now comes back out front to Johnson, back to Smith. Down to Canancer in the corner, back up to Smith. Over to Johnson. Johnson looking to drive in, drives in, takes a jumper, blocked. A good job that time by Kaufman to get a paw on it. Then the alley pass that throw him. Kaufman able to come up and get it. Gets it over to Meeks. Meeks going to drive it all the way and lays it up. No good. Rebound Beatty, and Beatty's going to be fouled by Kaufman. Kaufman going to pick up the personal. That's okay. That's number four, Kaufman. It will be uh, York basketball. Walking it up uh, will be uh, York with the ball. They'll send it down to Beatty. Beatty in the corner. Back up. Uh, they'll try to take it inside. Left you. Left you lose the handle. It's going to be out of bounds. They say off of uh, Cannon County. I believe they may have missed that one. That looked like it went off of Left you, but Left you sold it well. York going to bring it in. They'll work it in to Beatty. Beatty going to power it up and score. Tough shot by Gabby B. Beatty with the basket, and York now by a nickel. Fan in front court. Fan to the right side. Fan drives down, gives it off up front to Kaufman. Kaufman looking to drive, does drive, and she's going to be fouled, and that'll go either against Beatty or Lefty. They're going to whistle that one on Ellie. That'll be her second of the ball game. Going to the line will be Kaufman. 
Free throw, good. And she got the shooters off on that. Cannon County could have led this ball game had to hit the free throws. They really shot poorly from the stripe. Second one, no good. Rims out. As back come the Lady Dragons, uh, leading by four now. They'll work it over to Beatty. Beatty. Yorka like to use that side to side. Uh, they work it quickly yeah, from side to side, trying to get Johnson freed up. Johnson's way out front now. Johnson gives it over to Smith. Smith driving, trying to get inside to Beatty. Can't get it now. Johnson going to fire the long three. Good. Johnson's got a double, on, a dozen on the nine now. In double digits for the first time as Fan with the basketball. Kicks it off to Kaufman. Kaufman drives around, gives it over uh, to Sism. Sism drives baseline back out to Kaufman. Crosses it over to Fan. Fan will fire up a three of her own. That one's no good. Rebound, Gabby. Beatty. Good board work by Beatty. Beatty doing a good job inside there, able to uh, get the rebound. Now back the other way, can answer for a three. In and out, no good. Rebound, Lefty. Lefty going to stick it back home. Lefty got the rebound, sticks it back home, and uh, York has pulled this out to a nine-point lead, the biggest lead of the ball game. We'll be back after this. Let the cold this winter. Carrier has a complete line of home heating products to keep your family comfortable this season without burning your budget. With smart temperature management and remote access options, it's easier than ever to control your home's climate and reduce utility bills without sacrificing comfort. For more complete comfort and greater peace of mind, call Condition Heating and Cooling. Carrier, turn to the experts. Call Condition Heating and Cooling today and ask about our financing options. Back here we're Cannon County with the basketball now. Out front is Fan. Works it over to Sism. Sism sends it off now uh, to Meeks. Meeks will fire the three and Meeks drills the three ball. Big shot by Cannon County to stop the bleeding there as they've cut it back down to six. York with the basketball working it over is Johnson. Johnson trying to make a move. Spins in the lane. Johnson drives down, gives it off to Lefew. Lefew posting up. Lefew going to take it up strong and stick it home. Good job by Ellie. That's just using that strength she's got inside to get the basket. Back the other way. Nobody picks up Kaufman, and she drives in, has it blocked off her leg and out of bounds. He'll come back the other way now with the basketball. Will come Lefew. She'll give it in to Johnson, and Johnson will walk it up. York up now by eight. Front court Johnson with the ball. They can get their first double digit lead of the night on this trip down the floor. Johnson with the basketball. Johnson working it over to Smith. Smith with the ball. Sage. Right side looking for a screen. Gets the screen, drives to the right side, picks her dribble up. Comes back around, gives it over to Johnson. Johnson off to uh, Beatty down inside to Johnson. Johnson's going to spin free for an easy deuce. York up by double digits now, leading by 10. Biggest lead of the ball game. Back the other way, Cannon County with the basketball. Fan out front. Fan leads it for Smithson, who will fire the three. No good. Rebound left. You left. You looking for an alley. Gets it over to Johnson. Johnson on the run. Kicks it down to Smith. Smith lays up and missed the layup. Rebound pulled by Smithson. Smithson going to bring it on the run. Smithson having a little bit of trouble with the basketball. Gives it off to Fan. Fan will drive down, put up the layup good. Fan got free for two. Back to an eight-point ball game. Lefty comes up a little bit gimpy. York with the basketball. Out front is Smith. Sage with the ball. Drives right side, brings it back around. Gives it up to Johnson. Johnson over now to uh, uh, to Canaster. Canaster tried to take it inside, and she's going to be fouled by Kaufman. Kaufman picks up foul number two. 
York by eight. 321 left to go in the quarter. Blevins going to check in. Ball comes in to Lefew. Lefew posting up. Lefew going to take it strong to the rack. Traveled with it. Lefew turns it over and back comes uh, York the other way. Ellie going to take a seat now with 316 left to go here in the third quarter. Kenny Kenny with the ball and an eight point advantage in this one. They'll take it over this time uh, to uh, number 24, Sism. Sism leaves it for Meeks. Meeks off to Simpson. Simpson drives. He'll put it up. No good. Rebound uh, Blevins. Blevins with the board, and here comes York. Johnson will walk it across. York, no hurry. Up by eight. Getting ready to come back in is Gaither. Johnson going to drive, takes it up on the runner. No good. Rebound, Sism. Sism going to bring it out. Up to Fan. Fan's going to drive all the way down, give it over to uh, Kaufman for a, little, a rainbow three. No good. Rebound, Gabby Beatty out to Blevins. Blevins to Smith, and Smith will push it. Smith going to drive blocked by Sism. Picked up and taken away uh, by Smithson and quickly out to Kaufman. Kaufman will drive down. Kaufman going to fire out to Meeks. He'll fire up the three. No good. Rebound Johnson, and Johnson's going to be fouled by Fan trying to go around the back. Fan going to pick up foul number three. Simpson will come out. Gaither will come in. York with the basketball. Walking it up, Johnson. Johnson uh, with it, uh, taking it easy. They're clearing out a path for Johnson. Now they'll make a move and give it out to Beatty. Beatty for a three, no good. Long rebound, Fan. Fan will pull the board, and Cannon County's going to bring it back the other way. Kaufman looking to drive. Kaufman drives, and it's fouled by Blevins. Isabella's going to pick up her third personal. And I'll send Kaufman to the charity stripe. Kaufman on the day is four out of six on the day. Five of seven. Kaufman, a good looking player. Drops out and he makes it a seven point game, can make it six. And does. Kaufman hits both ends of it. 34 28, a six point uh, York lead now. Smith just takes her time coming up the floor. Here comes that uh, half-court trap again. Johnson with the ball. Johnson going to drive down, give it to can answer. Back up uh, to Smith. Smith will drive in. Takes a little leaner herself off the glass and good. Pretty move by Sage. And New York by eight. 70 seconds left to go here in quarter number three. Ball goes inside uh, to uh, Coleman, Coleman spins, puts it up. She's going to be fouled by an answer. Lily picks up foul number two. 65 ticks left to go here in the third quarter. Add the line, free throw good by Kaufman. Hits the front end of it. Kaufman will have one more. It's back to a seven point game. Six. Kaufman, nothing but the bottom of the cup on those. And back the other way now will come York. Johnson, they're trying to clear out and let Johnson drive. Can't get it with that to half court to trap because you're a little bit of problems. They're doing much better this half, though. They work down and left you, left you over to Blevins. Blevins up and good. Good pass, good catch, good score by Blevins. Good pass from Beatty to Blevins. Now down the other way, Sism bounces it off her foot and out of bounds. Sisms knocks it off her own foot out of bounds, and back will come York. York in the front court. They'll go down underneath. Knocked away, stolen. Meeks with a steal. And coming up from behind, uh, Kanancer tried to get it back, but picks up the foul instead. Like 30 seconds left to go here in the quarter. York by eight. Fan with the ball. Cannon came, may be content to go for one shot, though. They're trailing by eight here in the third quarter. 
Fan out front, just going to dribble around and run the clock off. York's not going to come get her. They're up by eight. They don't care. With the ball now, Kaufman. Kaufman drives around, sends it over uh, to Meeks. Back over to Kaufman, nine seconds. Kaufman going to move against Beatty and loses the ball. And then we got an offensive foul on uh, Kaufman. Good job by Lily can answer to take the shove. As Lauren Schoke going to come in. Out will come uh, can answer. 4.8 seconds. You're going to work it up quickly. Johnson with the ball. Johnson going to drive. Johnson going to float it at the buzzer. No good. We're through three. Into three it is York 38. Cannon County 30. Don't sweat the cold this winter. Carrier has a complete line of home heating products to keep your family comfortable this season without burning your budget. With smart temperature management and remote access options, it's easier than ever to control your home's climate and reduce utility bills without sacrificing comfort. For more complete comfort and greater peace of mind, call Condition Heating and Cooling. Carrier, turn to the expert. Call Condition Heating and Cooling today and ask about our financing options. This is Emily Gibson, your local Twin Lake security consultant, wishing you and your family a Merry Christmas. Let us help you keep your home and family protected this holiday season with security from Twin Lakes. Twin Lake security offers doorbell cameras, smoke and motion detectors, thermostats, and more. For additional peace of mind, add smart home automation so you can control your system from anywhere using your smartphone, tablet, or computer. Give us a call at 931-528-2005 to request your free security quote today. Through pharmacy, managing your medication has never been easier. This is Final frame of this one, and it will be Cannon County with the ball to start it with eight point lead here starting this final frame. It'll be worked in this time to Fan. Fan with the basketball. Fan going to walk it across the timeline. You got Fan now. You got Gaither out there. Gaither going to drive and give it out to Sism. Sism going to drive. Sism going to take it up and under and get the two and go for the natural three. Good drive by Sism. I believe that may be on can answer. And Lily's picked up her fourth person, so she's on the brink of extinction. Lily now with four. Sism at the line. Free throw. Good. Five-point ball game as Kenny Kane fights their way back in. Out front is Smith. Smith with the basketball. Sage comes around the pick of left you and loses the basketball, and it's going to be tied up. It'll be a jump ball, but it goes back to York on the alternate possession. Good job by Gaither to see that little bobble. When she did, she dove in, tied it up. We got seven and a half minutes left to go here in the quarter. Ball comes into Johnson. Johnson with the ball. Johnson around the pick of Blevins. Gives it out front to Smith. Smith working it. Now Smith will drive down, give it out to Johnson. Johnson looking to drive. Drives in the lane, pulls up, has it stripped, and it's going to be bounced off her foot out of bounds. Good D by the Lady Lions on that one. Kaufman will bring it in. Kaufman with the basketball. Or actually, they should say fan with the ball. Gets it right over now to number 14, Meeks. Who puts, or Gaither, who puts up the three. No good. Pass out to Smith. Now to Johnson, and Johnson will bring it. Johnson's who they want with the ball. Johnson brings it across the timeline. Gives it over to Smith. Smith guarded by Gaither. Gaither right on her. Now Gaither's going to be called for the bump. Gaither's got foul number two. York will work it in. York looking to bring it in. Gets it in now to Lefty. Lefty back to Johnson. Johnson drives down. Pulls up. Gives it out to Lefty. Lefty will drive down. And Lefty traveled with it. Oh, they're going to no, say a foul. That's going to go against Fan. Fan's got four personals now. She's on the brink of extinction. That'll bring Mason off the bench. They'll work it into Blevins. Now over to Johnson. Johnson with the ball, right side. Johnson brings it back out. 
Johnson looking for some room. Fan jumps out on her, gives it over now to Smith. Smith on the left wing. They go inside to Blevins, stolen away by Sism. Sism, good hand. Sism brings the other way. Quickly to Meeks. Meeks back into Sism, and Sism will score. Sism has cut this to a three-point ball game, and here come the Lady Lions. York with the ball. Johnson out front. Johnson working it out front. Gives it up to Lefew on the free throw line. Lefew looking to drive, kicks it out to Blevins. Blevins a little jumper, no good, won't go. And Cannon County can come all the way back and tie it with a three ball here. Long pass knocked over to Fan. Fan will take the short jumper and hit it. It's a one point game. Kaufman makes it a one point game with five and a half minutes to go. We got a timeout on the floor. But the cold is winter. Carrier has a complete line of home heating products to keep your family comfortable this season without burning your budget. With smart temperature management and remote access options, it's easier than ever to control your home's climate and reduce utility bills without sacrificing comfort. For more complete comfort and greater peace of mind, call Condition Heating and Cooling. Carrier, turn to the expert. Call Condition Heating and Cooling today and ask about our financing options. Five thirty-six left to go here in this uh, ball game, and we have got a one-point game now, 38-37. York by one. Cannon County has made a run here. They've cut back into what was a double-digit lead by York down to one. York is struggling shooting here down the stretch. York yet to get any points here in this fourth quarter. Cannon County's outscored them uh, now six or seven to nothing here in this quarter. York will come back with Blevins, uh, Johnson, Smith, Cananser, and uh, Beatty in the game. Johnson with the basketball. Out front. Works at top of the key. Johnson with the ball. Johnson still working out front. Johnson going to drive and give it out to Beatty. Beatty for a long three. Good. Big basket by Gabby Beatty. Beatty hits a big three ball there, and York goes back up before. Five minutes to play in the quarter. Gaither with the ball off to Sism. Sism looks three. Won't take it. Gets back over to Gaither. Gaither looking for Meeks. Gives it out to Meeks. Meeks off to Sism. Sism working against the Johnson, gives it out to uh, Kaufman. Kaufman will drive, put it up, partially blocked. Kaufman gets it back, gives it over to uh, Gaither. Gaither going to drive, and Gaither shot blocked by Johnson. Johnson long pass out, going to be too far ahead of Beatty. Stripped and knocked away. It's going to go out of bounds off of York. Good hustle by Lilly to get back and uh, break that one up. Cannon County with the ball now. Trailing by four. Kenny Kenny's not shot the three ball well tonight at all. Gaither with the ball. Gaither going to drive, and she has it swatted out of bounds by Blevins. Blevins going to knock it out of bounds. No call. 41-37. Ball comes in out front this time uh, to number four, Kaufman. Over to Gaither. Gaither working. Gives it out to uh, Sism. Sism cross court over to Mason. Smith again ready to come back in. Mason out to uh, Sism. And Sism can't get the three ball to go. Rebound Beatty. Beatty out to Johnson and York with the ball and a four point lead, four minutes to go. Johnson coast to coast is going to be fouled by Sism. Anna Gray Sism going to pick up her first of the ball game. It'll be Johnson at the free throw line. Johnson two of two of the night. Three of three. Simpson comes, or make that uh, Smith, and I keep on call her Simpson. Smithson comes back into the game and out goes Mason. Second one is good. Johnson, nothing but the cup on that one. 
York by six. Walking it up will be Sism. Sism with the ball. Over now, right side to uh, Smithson. Smithson for a three in and out, no good. Can't, can't, just can't knock down the three balls here as Smith in the front court. You're going to slow it down a bit, leading by six. Smith's going to be bumped, and that's going to go against Smithson. Shelby Smithson has her second. Left, you're going to come in. Can answer will come out. Had the line, Sage. Got a one and one here. That's the eighth team foul on Cannon County. Five on York. Free throw good. Fan comes back in as Smithson comes out. Back of the line, Smith. Seven point York lead. And the second one, no good. Rebound pulled down by Kaufman. Kaufman with the ball. Coffin drives down, gives it over to Smith. Sism. Sism for a three, no good. Long rebound going to be knocked out of bounds off of Cannon County. 44-37. York leading with the basketball. They got a seven-point advantage in the ball. Three minutes left to play in regulation as with the ball is Johnson. Johnson looking for somebody to give to. Now works it back over right side. Johnson working it out front. Johnson going to drive in, sends it out to Beatty. Beatty for a three. It's good. Gabby Beatty with another three ball. The Lady Dragons have a 10-point lead with under three minutes to go. Ball goes over to Sism. Sism going to go inside to Kaufman. Kaufman drives, and Kaufman's bumped by Beatty. Gabby's got foul number three. Excuse me. Kaufman going to go to the line for a pair of them here. 47-37 and the free throw no good. Cannon County has left one, two, three, four, five, six points at the free throw, seven points at the free throw line. And now they get one more. And it's a nine-point ball game. We've got uh, two and a half minutes to go. 47-38, your work. This is Emily Gibson, your local Twin Lake security consultant, wishing you and your family a Merry Christmas. Let us help you keep your home and family protected this holiday season with security from Twin Lakes. Twin Lake security offers doorbell cameras, smoke and motion detectors, thermostats, and more. For additional peace of mind, add smart home automation so you can control your system from anywhere using your smartphone, tablet, or computer. Give us a call at 931-528-2005 to request your free security quote today. At Medicare Pharmacy, managing your medications has never been easier. We are the first pharmacy in the Upper Cumberland to offer strip packaging for your medications. Our MedPack strip packaging organizes your meds in easy to open pouches organized by date and time you take your meds. It's simple, convenient, and certain. Let us take the worry out of your medications today. For more information, call 879-8133 or we invite you to come by and see our strip packaging machine today. When it comes Watching sports. Oh, there's no and back here we're getting set for York to bring the ball in. Two and a half minutes to go. They're leading by nine now as ball comes into Johnson. Johnson with the ball. Johnson gets it back over Lefty. Lefty going to be double teamed. Lefty is going to be fouled. That'll go against number 22, Meeks. Meeks has picked up her third personal. And that'll walk us this end where Lefty will go to the line. Leftfield step to the line. Coming back into the game will be uh, Gaither, and out will go Mason. Leftfield needs to knock down these free throws. The freshman, first one, no good. Rebound, Sism. Sism, long pass up to Fan. Fan going to drive it. Fan's going to take it hard in, and she's going to be fouled by Johnson. Fan took that one hard to the rack, and Johnson got her on the arm. That's 
This is why York doesn't want to do. They don't want to send them to the line with not moving in the chance to put up points. And the free throw's good. Back to an eight-point game. She can cut it to seven. Still be a three-possession ball game. She hits it. Ball comes in to Smith. Smith double team. Smith trying to get out, and Smith's going to be. Ooh, I will, I will go about that one. Mm. They're going to whistle Gaither on that one, and look like Smith may have hooked her and pushed her out of the way. Smith hits the free throw. She'll have one more. <coughs> Second one is good. So Sage hits both ends of it and uh, York goes back up by nine and uh, back the other way, Cannon Cannon with the ball. Fan with the ball. Now to uh, Meeks, back to Fan. King ain't taking a lot of time off the clock. They're York's best friend right now. Sism going to drive in, and Sism has it stripped and stolen from behind by Johnson. Johnson picks her pocket, holds it up. Johnson with the ball. Working out front. Now she's going to be fouled by number 22, Meeks. That's going to be four on Taylor Meeks. Going the line will be Johnson. And York in the double bonus now as Johnson steps up, drills the front end. York up now by 10. Matches the biggest lead of the night. York can get their biggest lead of the night with a buck 48 left to go, 108 seconds left in the quarter. Second one, good. Johnson with both ends of it. It's 11 point lead now. Picking it up will be Gaither. Uh, Cannon Cannon now got to launch the rock. They can't dribble around. Now driving in and a good hands by Blevins. They say, oh, Blevins, oh, that looked like it rolled off of uh, Gaither's leg after Blevins reached in and touched it. Ball comes in now to Sism. Sism out front to Fan. Fan going to fire a quick three. In and out, no good. And Cannon Cannon just can't find the range. Here at York Institute. We're going to have a foul, quick foul now on Gaither. That'll be four on... Uh, Madison Gaither. And walking the other end will be Haley Johnson. Uh, Johnson with a 11 point lead that can make this the biggest lead of the night with any of the free throws. Both of them she can make it though a five possession game. First one good. It's a 14 point lead or 12 point lady dragon lead. Uh, this one can make it 13 to make it a five possession game. And can't get to go, though. So it stays a four-possession game with 90 seconds to play. Coming back the other way quickly is uh, Gaither. Puts it up to Cobbman. Cobbman puts it up no good rebound. Blevins out to Smith. Smith going to bring it. Smith drives down, gives it over to Beatty. Beatty going to lay it up, and she goes to the line. Couldn't get the shot to drop, but Gabby will go to the line for a pair of them. 117 to go. You're going to improve uh, to uh, now... They're going to improve to uh, six and four overall, and two and one in district play. While Beatty's at the line, missed the front end of it. Kenny County's going to fall to ten and four, and more importantly, one and two in district play. Big district win for York here at their place. Beatty's second one, no good, missed both ends of it. Rebound pulled by Cannon County. Back the other way, Sism with the ball. Stops, sends it over this time to 22, who drills the three ball. Meeks finally gets a three to go. That is only, I believe, the second three ball of the night for Cannon County. And we got a timeout on the floor. At Medicare Pharmacy, managing your medications has never been easier. We are the first pharmacy in the Upper Cumberland to offer strip packaging for your medications. Our MedPack strip packaging organizes your meds in easy to open pouches organized by date and time you take your meds. It's simple, convenient, and certain. Let us take the worry out of your medications today. For more information, call 879-8133 or we invite you to come by and see our strip packaging machine today. 
When it comes to watching sports, no. there's no telling what you'll hear. No, 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 no. But when you order Pizza Hut for the game, you know exactly what you'll hear. What's this? Oh, that looks fantastic. Your favorite pizza. Ooh. Those awesome wings. What? Plus sides and desserts. Yeah. All waiting at PizzaHut.com to order now because no one out pizzas the hut. <laughs> what? 107 left to go in this one. Uh, you're going to uh, pick up uh, their six win season and a huge district win. Now two and one in district play before they open up the Hall Sergeant York uh, tournament this week. Ball comes in to Johnson. Johnson double teamed and Johnson's fouled. And they'll send Haley the other end for a pair of free throws. Nine point lead uh, for York. Johnson needs to hit at least one. He's making a four-possession game again. Kenny County finally got a three ball to go. That's only their second three of the night. Meeks hit both of them. Free throw, no good. Johnson needs to make this one to make it a four-possession game. Second one, good. Cannon County with the ball. In the front court comes Gaither. Gaither going to spin, take it all in, blocked by Lefkoe. Gaither runs it down, though. Kicks it back out to Meeks. Meeks for a three, short. Rebound Blevins, and Blevins is going to be fouled quickly. Now they're going to whistle, uh, going to whistle uh, Italy on that one. Lefkoe picks up her third. 51-5 left to go in the game, and it's a lead of 10 for York now, so it's a four-possession ball game. Gaither will put it in to play. 51 ticks left to go in this one. They'll get it in this time to, to Fan. Fan with the ball. Fan's going to drive, and Fan's going to be fouled before the shot. They're going to get Smith with the foul. Sage picks up her third personal. Fan's going to take it to the line uh, for a pair of them. First one's good. Actually had a one and one. She hits the first one. So she'll get the second one. Back of the line uh, goes Fan. Her second one, good. And we got a timeout called again, McKinnon County. Timeout with 47.8 seconds to go. York on top by a lead of 53-45. In product availability, prices, participation, delivery areas, and charges and minimum purchase required for delivery may vary. Delivery charges not available. Quality workmanship and exceptional customer service have defined Southeastern drywall and construction of Jamestown. From custom-built homes, residential construction, remodeling, to commercial construction, Southeastern drywall and construction is dedicated to providing the best quality at reasonable prices. We're also looking for good carpenters. Call Southeastern drywall and construction at 931-267-5435. A proud supporter of sports and education in our area. Well, 48 uh, seconds, uh, actually 47.8 seconds left to go here in this one. Now, you're going to pick up a big district win here as they'll try to work it in, leading up by eight. Lefew looking, gets it into Johnson, and Johnson quickly fouled by Meeks. Two here will about seal the deal for that, and that's going to be it for Meeks. Meeks is going to foul out. Meeks ended up the night with eight points. Meeks fouls out with eight on the night. And in the game will come Smithson back in. Free throw by Johnson, good. She'll have one more. Can make this a 10 point ball game and does. Four possession game now. Cannon County has got to come down fire quick. They'll get it over to Sism. Sism will launch it up. Off the glass, good. The bank is open, and Sism just makes a three point deposit. And now we got a foul before the ball's brought in, and that'll send Johnson back to the line. And that's going to go against Kaufman. 
Kaufman has four on the night. Oh, actually, that's five on Kaufman. I missed one, evidently. Kaufman fouls out on the night with 19 points. Kaufman ended up with 19 as she's paced the Lady Lions for sure. Johnson at the stripe, free throw, good. We'll have one more. York by seven, or by eight right now. By nine, so it's still a three possession ball game. But Cannon County now has got Mason with Mason over quickly to Gaither. Cannon County's got to do something quick as Gaither going to drive and get a layup. Gaither got around the defense, drives in, uh, drops it home, and now we're going to have a foul on uh, Cannon County. And I believe that's going to be it for Fan. I believe Fan is, is going to hit the Fan as Fan is out. She ended up with six points on the night. Cannon County really struggled shooting here at York tonight. Lily can answer coming in. Free throw by Johnson's good. Johnson can push this back to a nine-point ball game with 22 seconds left. Levin's going to come out. Johnson's second one, no good. Rims out. Rebound, Cannon County, long pass. Gaither stops, steps back, gets it inside to Sism. Sism's going to be fouled. That'll be two shots. As that will go against Sage Smith, and Sage has got her fourth personal. Cannon County's got three players who have fouled out of this one. Sism at the line, free throw, no good. Short arms it. We'll have one more. Timeout called by Cannon or by York. Timeout with 14.9 seconds to go. York leads it 58 50. Confidence. The one word you have to have when you choose a pharmacy. And Clark Ridge Drug Center has worked hard to earn yours. Whether filling a prescription or giving advice on non-prescription medicine or health and beauty aids, Clark Ridge Drug Center is the place to go for expert advice. Clark Ridge Drug Center always earning your confidence. And back here to action. It's going to be Sism of the line for the second of two. She missed the front end of it. Can K to seven, but with 14.9 seconds to go, York's going to pick up a much-needed win here as coming in as number three into the game. That is Jalen Fans. So Jalen Fan replaced Kristen Fan, so it's Fan for Fan. Free throw good uh, by... Sism. Sism hits the second one. It's a seven point game. York with the ball. Long pass up to Lefew. Lefew and now Smith and uh, Lily all alone down here. Nobody saw her. And York just dribbling it out now as they'll kick it down low. We're going to have a foul before that on Simpson. So Simpson going to pick up the foul. Make that Smith. And I still keep calling that girl Simpson. I'm going to change your name, girl. 58-51, 4.6 seconds go. York going to come away with a big win here as Sage hits the front end of it. We'll have one more. York going to come away with a big win here over Cannon County in this one. Second one is no good. Rebound, Smithson. Long pass up to Gaither. Gaither over to Mason. Mason won't get the shot off before the end of the buzzer. York wins here tonight. A huge, this afternoon I should say, a huge win for the Lady Dragons as they beat Cannon County in this opening game here tonight on this uh, weekday afternoon. Uh, they come away with a 59-51 win. We'll be back in a minute to take a look at this one. Confidence, the one word you have to have when you choose a pharmacy. And Clark Ridge Drug Center has worked hard to earn yours. Whether filling a prescription or giving advice on non-prescription medicine or health and beauty aids, Clark Ridge Drug Center is the place to go for expert advice. Clark Ridge Drug Center, always earning your confidence. 
State Representative John Mark Wendell is happy to be a supporter of the Fentress County Sports Program. Participating in sports enables our young people to learn responsibility, teamwork, and sportsmanship, as well as promoting physical fitness. Also, John Mark Wendell is grateful for the opportunity to serve as his state representative and encourages you to contact him or his staff any time that he can be of assistance. The very best to the Fentress County Sports Team for a successful season is the message from State Representative John whether you're competing on the athletic field or working hard in the classroom, remember you have the support of First Volunteer Bank, the bank with personality. We're behind you 100% of the way. Good luck to all the area teams. Play tough and play fair. And remember, when it comes to helping you with your banking needs, we're First Volunteer Bank, the bank with personality. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. And now over, over and over, and over, over and over, over and over, First Volunteer Back here, we're getting ready for boys action get underway here in just a few minutes. Let's give you a quick wrap-up on this girls' matchup. York wins a huge district game. They improved to 6-4 and four overall, 2-1 and one in uh, district play now as York got uh, 25 points from Haley Johnson, 15 for Gabby Beatty, 8 for Sage Smith, 6 for Ellie Lefew, 6 for Isabella Blevins, 2 in the game for Lily Can Answer. Cannon Kenny was paced by Jesse Kaufman with 19 points, followed by Anna Grace Sism with 11. Eight for uh, Taylor Meeks, six in the game for Kristen Fan, four each for Shelby Smithson and Madison Gaither in the ball game. York wins at your final here tonight, 59-51 this afternoon. I keep saying tonight, but it's actually this afternoon because it's only 2.28 in the afternoon right now. So York wins it here tonight, uh, this afternoon, 59-51. Let's take a timeout, and uh, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back in just a few minutes for boys' action. Don't go anywhere. And welcome back to York. And so we're getting set for boys' action in this one. It should be a good one as well as uh, York taking on Canning County. Uh, York come in 5-4 and four on the season, 1-1 one and one, pretty much like the Lady Dragons. Canning County come in impressive, 9-4. and four. They're 2-0 and oh in district play as uh, Canning County in the district has beaten, let's see, they beat uh, in uh, the district Watertown and Macon County. They've beaten also Shelbyville. Huntsville, or Huntland, I should say, uh, Forest, uh, Mount Christian. Uh, they've beaten Warren County, uh, Bath County, Kentucky, and Buckhorn, Kentucky. They've lost to Murfreesboro Central, Clay County, Coffee County, Gatlinburg, Pittman. The two they have, the only team they have in common with York is Clay County. York lost to Clay County 57-55. Uh, Cannon County lost 70-55. So that's the only Team, our only team they do have something uh, that they both played. That's the only common team they have. Now, last year York uh, won. Uh, won. Uh, let's see. Uh, York won. Uh, let's see. They won uh, at at uh, Kenny Kenny 55 45 here, 77 40. And York has won uh, four in a row now against Kenny Kenny. Kenny Kenny. Uh, won six straight before that. Now this season, Kenny County, as we said, has won seven of their last eight, and they're on a pretty bit of bit of a roll here as they come in to York Institute looking for a win. And uh, we'll get said here in just a moment to get this underway. Uh, we got uh, girls uh, game uh, over with. The uh, Lady Dragons a huge win tonight. They come away with a win over Cannon County 59-51 so your girls pick up a much needed district win and now the Dragons trying to do the same here. First we'll meet uh, the starting lineups for the Cannon County Lions. They'll open up with number one Gus Davenport. Number three Wade Love. Number ten Luke Alexander. Number 12, Blake Bush. And number 23, Brady Cunningham, your starters for the visiting lines of Cannon County High School under the direction of Coach Jason Knowles. While now the house lights go down, it's time for the, light, the spotlight to come up as we meet your, your Dragons. The Dragons coming in under the direction of Coach Russell Taze. Come in looking for a big district win. The girls already got one here tonight, and York would love to get one as well. They're sitting at one and one in the district, and they would love to go to two and one. The Dragons going to be starting tonight with their normal five. 
Number one sophomore, Nico Smith of St. Nick. Uh, Got to have a big night shooting tonight. Number 24, junior Jacob Jennings. Jennings has uh, been playing pretty good as of late. Number 23, Riley Cooper. We call him wreck -It Riley because he broke the rim over at Stone Memorial the other night. <laughs> and uh, Noah Smith, uh, Noah stopping him. And in your final starter for the Dragons is senior number 10, Roger that, Roger Meadows. As the Dragons come in looking to pick up a big win here, they uh, love to get a win over Cannon County. And improve to two and one the district. This is going to be a tough district, folks. A district uh, that uh, pretty much anybody can win. So every win you get is a big one, and especially when you're playing at home, you want to get those home games. It'll be ready to jump it up, and we're underway. The opening tip belongs to Cannon County and uh, Wade Love. Wade Love in the front court. Actually, that's a Bush with the ball. Bush gives it over now uh, to Love. Love with the basketball. Love looks underneath, knocked away. Good hands by Cooper. Riley got a paw on him, bats it away. And York comes out with a long pass up to Nick Smith. Goes inside to Cooper, throws it away. Picked off by Love. Love going to push it. Love going to take it up. Blocked by Noah Smith. He gets it back into Jennings, but he can't handle the pass. And it goes back over to uh, Cannon, 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 Cannon. With the ball, they'll go outside to uh, number one, that is Davenport puts up the three ball, no good. Rebound York. York with the basketball. Smith in the front court. Meadows gonna take back over to Nick. Now off to Noah. Noah gonna fire up the three, no good. The senior couldn't get to go. Rebound pulled away by Love. Love with the basketball, leaves it for Davenport. Cannon County setting it up. They'll work it over. Give it off to Bush, Bush. Down the corner to uh, Davenport. Back out front now to Love. Wide open for a three. Drains it. Wade Love with a three ball. And Cannon County takes the early lead. York Lady Dragons did not trail in their game tonight. As they win the uh, big district contest this afternoon, I should say. Keep on say night, but it's only like 2 o'clock. About 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Firing it up now is Nick Smith. No good. Rebound Love. Love off to Davenport. Cannon King likes to push it up and down the floor. Davenport leave it for Love. Love going to drive, puts it up, and scores, and that's going to be a foul on Cooper. They take it right at Riley Cooper, and the Dav or Love has five quick points and looking for the natural three. Free throw by Davenport or by Love is good. Love hits the free throw, and it's now a six-nothing game. Back the other way will come uh, York with the ball, trailing by six. He'll give it over to Smith. Down inside to Cooper. Cooper back out to Smith. Smith up to Jennings. Jennings over to Meadows. Inside uh, to Smith. Noah going to spin, go off the glass, and he'll put it on. Noah stopping that as he gets the first two of the game for York. Front court uh, will come number 12, Bush. Bush double team, they uh, tie up Love out front and it goes to York on the all name possession. Good hands by Nick Smith and uh, Riley Cooper to tie it up. And here comes uh, York with the basketball trailing by four. They'll give it over to Cooper. Cooper off to Nick Smith. Nick tried to get down low uh, to his brother Noah but tipped away. Good hands that time, good uh, reflexes there by number 10, Alexander. Ball comes into Smith. Smith going to spin. He's going to take it right to the rack and score. Noah with two more. Noah faked the pass inside and then spun right in, laid it up and in. Two point ball game now as Kenny Kenny with the ball. Out front, Bush. Bush drives in, nowhere to go. Sends it down to Love in the corner. Love looking inside, goes inside. They'll drop it back out to Alexander. Alexander going to drive against the Jennings, puts it up. Jennings going to be called for the foul. Jacob will pick up his first of the ball game. At the line will be number 10, Alexander. Free throw is no good, rolls off the rim. Alexander misses the front end. It will have one more. 
Second one is good. It's the actual three-point ball game. York quickly the other way. Jennings in front court. Jennings with the ball. Gives it back out now to Meadows. Off to Smith. Smith with the ball. They'll go down inside to Cooper. Cooper with the ball. Cooper back out to Smith. Smith backs it out. Nick with the ball. Gives it inside to Noah. Noah out to Meadows. Meadows for a three. No good. Rebound pulled by number 10, Alexander. Alexander with the basketball. Alexander in the front court, left side. And he'll give it off this time to Bush. Bush looking to drive, does drive, puts up the floater, good. Tough shot by Blake Bush. York the other way, trailing by a nickel now. Meadows with the ball. Roger drives all the way down, goes up, no good. Rebound pulled by Love. Off quickly uh, to uh, Davenport. Now crosses over Bush, wide open for a three, air ball. Pulled down by York, uh, Meadows on the run. Meadows drives down, bounces off, kicks it out to Cooper. Cooper down to Smith. Noah for a three, no good. Rebound pulled this time by Davenport. Davenport on the run. Up and down, these two teams are flying. Now Bush gonna fire out of the corner for a three, no good. Rebound tipped up in the air. Jennings, that can't come up with it. Come up with his love, love with the ball. They'll cross court it now to Davenport for a three, good. Gus Davenport from downtown, and that's going to bring in for York. Uh, Jonathan Heading's going to check in. Ball goes over to Smith. Nick Smith with the ball. Off to Meadows. Meadows to Jennings. Jennings will take the little jumper off the mark. Rebound pulled by Cannon County. In the front court uh, comes uh, Bush. Or they got uh, Alexander up to two. And York wants to talk about it. Timeout on the floor. 317 left to go in the first. It's a 10 point. Cannon County Lee. The Gary Maxwell Insurance Office offering area insurance is located at 300 West Central Avenue in Jamestown. Get a free quote for your home, auto, life, or business with no obligation to buy. Call 879-1251. Shane Beatty, Katie Cooper, Candy Robbins, and Brad Rains agents, along with Jeff Robbins, manager, will be happy to assist you. That's Gary Maxwell Insurance, located at 300 West Central Avenue with locations in Livingston, Cookville, and Gainesboro. You work with the basketball as we get back underway. 3.17 left to go here in the first quarter. York leading 14 to 4 in this one. Cannon came with a complete new lineup out there. I'll have to check that out here. I mean, almost a complete switch for Cannon County. One left's Bush. Meadows with the basketball. Meadow drives around, gives it down in low to Headings. Headings up and scores. Jonathan with his first two of the night. Cannon County made it pretty much a wholesale switch. They got three new players in the game. They've got number five in the game. That is Eli uh, Cantrell. They got number 11, uh, Lucas or Luke Jakes. And let's see, they still got Bush in the game. They still got uh, Cunningham in the game, and they still got. Let's see, Alexander's still in the game. So they come back with a couple of switches on that one. Ball goes inside to Alexander. He'll fire the three up. No good. Rebound Jenny. Or by, we should say rebound by Headings. Jonathan pulls the rebound. Here come the Dragons. York with the basketball. Nick Smith spins. Puts up the little jumper. No good. Rebound pulled away by Cannon County. Walking it up will be Alexander. Cannon County by eight. Two minutes left to go in the first quarter. Driving in, they'll kick it in the corner, wide open for a three, and draining it he is number 11. Luke Jakes with a three ball. And the Kenny Kenny has an 11 point lead. Ball goes inside to Noah. Noah going to drive in the lane. He'll take it strong to hoop and score. Noah's got six and York's eight points. Only other basket is that one by Jonathan a moment ago. With the basketball is number five. That is Cantrell. Gives it over this time uh, to Jakes. Jakes going to drive down in. Lose the hand line. Uh, York thought he walked and may have got away with one there. And Jakes grabbing his knee. He stumbled a little bit now. Firing up the three ball and no good was Alexander. And it's 
Actually, that's Bush, and he's knocked out of bounds by York. So coming in the game now, number 24 in the game, that is Lavelle Rogers. Lavelle Rogers enters the lineup. York with the basketball, Meadows. Comes around the pick, fires up the jumper, short, rebound pulled up by Jakes. Over to Bush, and Bush will slow it up. Cannon County with the ball and the lead of nine. Out front. They may go for the last shot with the basketball is uh, Cantrell. Cantrell working against Smith, and we got a... Timeout called by Cannon County. Timeout with 32 ticks left to go here in the first quarter. It's 17-8, Cannon County. Cannon Hall, inviting you to come check out our all-new Hall Sports and Outdoor store, now open in downtown Jamestown. At Hall Sports and Outdoors, we are your regional destination for everything you need for the woods and on the field. We have game day here featuring your favorite local and regional teams, camping and hunting gear, and gifting ideas with popular brands like Costa, Timberland, Volunteer Traditions, and more. All Sports and Outdoors is located on the corner of South Main Street and Livingston Avenue, across from the courthouse. Stop by and see what everyone is cheering about at Hall Sports and Wings. And it will be Kenny and Kenny with the basketball now. They'll work it in this time uh, to uh, number 12, Bush. Bush with the ball. Love's back in the ball game. Also back in the game is uh, Davenport. Davenport has the ball right now. York with the trap now. They'll get down low this time uh, to uh, number 10. He'll put up the glass, uh, and that is good. Alexander goes to the bank and deposits a couple. Back the other way, Nick Smith drives and Nick Smith's fouled by Davenport. That'll send Nick to the line for a pair of them with a 1.5 seconds, so York gets a break on that one. Davenport with his first foul of the night and Cannon County's first foul of the night. Nick, first one in front of the iron, no good. York has had some trouble shooting free throws this year. We'll have another one, it is good. Nick hits one out of two, we're back to a 10 point ball game. Now firing up at the buzzer, ooh, hitting the back of the rim was uh, number 12 Bush. So we're at the end of one, end of one, it's 19-9, Cannon County. Thank you, Farmers Co-op, your local hometown store, proudly supporting our hometown Buffaloes and Dragons. Co-op is a winning season one game at a time. Co-op, your first choice of farm, home, lawn, and garden, and a gift shop for giving and decorating needs. Co-op, serving this area for 70 years with quality products. That's your co-op, located just two miles south of Daniel. Don't sweat the cold this winter. Carrier has a complete line of home heating products to keep your family comfortable this season without burning your budget. With smart temperature management and remote access options, it's easier than ever to control your home's climate and reduce utility bills without sacrificing comfort. For more complete comfort and greater peace of mind, call Conditioned Heating and Cooling. Carrier, turn to the experts. Call Conditioned Heating and Cooling today and ask about our financing options. This is James Green, your local Twin Lakes business. Well, quarter number one belonged to Cannon County. They uh, lead York by 10 here at the end of one. It'll be uh, starting the second uh, quarter. It'll be Cannon County with the basketball moving left to right as we speak. And they'll work it in backcourt this time to uh, number 12, Bush. Bush with the basketball. Cannon County uh, got out early and lead now by 10, driving in, putting up the little floater. Uh, no good was number 12, uh, that was uh, Bush, couldn't get to go. Rebound taken away by Cooper out to uh, Meadows. Off Cooper, Cooper off now to Nick Smith. Back up front now to Meadows. Over to Cooper, Cooper back out front now to Smith. Smith off to Meadows, Meadows down low to uh, Noah Smith, up for two and good. Noah's got eight here in the first half. He's got all but three of York's points here in this quarter. We're in this first half anyway. With the ball now is uh, Bush. Gives it out to Alexander, back to Bush. 
They love working the left side of the floor. Trying to get it up to Love. Love looks three, but now won't take. Now Love's going to drive the lane, put up the shorter jumper, no good. Rebound, Riley Cooper. Good board work by Riley. Roger, quick pass, good. Little, don't look, pass up to uh, Smith with an easy basket in York because uh, Smith's got 10 now, and they're back to within six. Roger Meadows from about half court to let that one go. Got it into uh, Noah Smith, and he gets easy basket. Now back the other way, pulling up for two. No good love. And on the rebound, I believe we got a foul on number 24. That's going to be Lavelle Rogers. Went up for the squad. The squad did against the backboard. Went over the back and called for the foul. And he'll come out. Back into the ball game will come number 23, Cunningham. You work with the basketball in the front court will come Meadows. Meadows with the ball. Off now uh, to Cooper. Cooper. You work working around the top of the key. Meadows on the right side drives baseline, takes the jumper, no good. Rebound Cunningham. York trails with six. Six minutes to go here in the first half. Driving in is Alexander. Tried to get it over. Uh, but throws it away, picked off by Smith, but now had his pocket picked by Bush. Bush gonna drive down, he'll lay it up, no good. Rebound, fall four, and on the floor, Smith comes out, Nick Smith with the ball. Nick gonna push it the other way, Nick quickly up to Meadows. Meadows gonna drive in, double pumps it, no good. Tips it up and can't get a hold of it, now tipped around and Meadows comes up with it, goes back up and scores. Good job by Meadows just to stay after it. Good uh, board work by the Dragons, and we're back to a four-point ball game. York with the basketball, front court. They'll give it over this time uh, to uh, Davenport. Davenport with the ball. Working out front, York uh, extending their defense a little bit, gives it down low. They'll go inside to Love. Love going to try cross court. Cut it, knocked away, but Love picks it up, puts it up, can't get it to go. Love saves it into Cunningham, and Cunningham will go up, no good. Rebound this time by Riley Cooper. Cannon County, a couple of point blank shots, can get him to go, and York now with a basketball. They'll take it down to Noah, Noah left side. Noah gonna drive the baseline. Sends it back out front to Roger for a three, Roger that. And we got a one point ball game. York has come storming back with 4.44 to go in the first half. It's 19-18, Cannon. Let the cold be winter. Carrier has a complete line of home heating products to keep your family comfortable this season without burning your budget. With smart temperature management and remote access options, it's easier than ever to control your home's climate and reduce utility bills without sacrificing comfort. For more complete comfort and greater peace of mind, call Condition Heating and Cooling. Carrier, turn to the experts. Call Condition Heating and Cooling today and ask about our financing options. So the, the Dragons have fought their way back to within one in this one as it's a 19-18 uh, Cannon County lead in this one with 444 left to go here in quarter number two. Your girls won earlier tonight. We do apologize. This was originally scheduled to be live on Twin Lakes Cable Channel 953 and Comcast Cable Channel 12, but uh, due to some technical difficulties, we weren't able to get it on. And uh, we do appreciate you joining us for the video replay of this one. Cannon County with the basketball. They'll walk it up. In the front court will come Blake Bush. Bush with the ball. Cannon County went stone cold. They came out shooting really well early, but have gone cold as ice here lately. Alexander on the drive, the little flip up, no good. And the ball's gonna bounce off of Headings out of bounds. Coming in for York will be strong. Isaiah will check in, and out will come Headings. Eddings with a couple of points in that little short stand he was in. Ball gets launched in this time. It's going to be Love with the ball. Love out front. Gives it over to uh, number 10. He's going to be fouled. And I believe they're going to call that one against Noah. Nope. That will go against, yeah, it will be Noah. I start to say, yeah, it is Noah getting the foul. That's going to send to the line number 10, Alexander. Can push this back to a three-point advantage. 
First one rolls and drops. Alexander can get his seventh point of the ball game, give uh, Cannon County a three-point lead. Second one going. 21-18 the score. York with the basketball. 4-10 left to go here in the first half. With the ball out front, Nick Smith gives it over to Strong. Strong with the ball. Isaiah gives it back out front to Riley. York working in on that right side. Now give it over left side to Meadows. Meadows inside to Noah Smith. He'll take the jumper. Good. Noah gets the roll. We're back to a one-point ball game. Noah's got a dozen here in the first half. Noah's got 12 of York's 18 points, or York's 20 points, I should say. With the ball now is Davenport. Sends it over to Cunningham for a three, and Cunningham with a big three. Big shot there by Cunningham. Back to the Nick Smith off to Meadows. Meadows over to Strong. Back up to Meadows. They'll send it up front now. Uh, Roger with the ball left side. We're content to work it around and looking for the good shot. Over to Roger. He'll fire the three in and out. No good. Rebound Cunningham. Three minutes left to go here in the first half. 24-20 your score. Ball goes over now uh, to uh, number 12. That is uh, Bush. Bush inside to Alexander who drops out to Love who scores. Love gets the uh, two easy ones and he's got eight on the night. York's got to work it up the other way now. Almost still is a steal. Good play there by number 10, uh, Alexander. As he jumped the pass, got it and bounced it off Smith out of bounds. Jennings going to come in and uh, Strong going to come right back out. York now trails with six. They cut it to one. They've never led in this game. Ball goes over now to Davenport. Davenport back, backs it out. Drives in, kicks it over now in the corner uh, to uh, Alexander. Back up front to Davenport. He'll drive, lays it up, no good. Rebound uh, Meadows. Meadows on the run. Roger with the ball, drives in, pulls up, gives it over to Riley. Riley going to drive in the lane. He'll take the little short jumper, good. Riley Cooper with a big two now, and York's back to four. Two minutes left to go here in the first half. York trails by four. Cannon with the basketball. Front court is uh, working it over. Will be number 12, Bush. Bush going to take it all the way in, and Bush is going to be fouled uh, by Smith. Nick's going to pick up his first of the ball game. And Nick will uh, get the foul out of the quick inbound pass, put up score, good, pretty move. Nick Smith will pick up his second as Alexander with a pretty move on that one, caught it, laid it up, drew the foul all in one motion. Good job uh, by that time uh, Luke Alexander. And now Jennings will come back out as Hennings reenters the lineup. Free throw is good by Alexander. Alexander's got double digits in this one. He's at 10 now. 146 left to go here in quarter number two. We're headed toward halftime of this. Ball goes over to Nick Smith. Nick with the ball back out front now to Riley. Nick working it right side. Gives it over now. A left side uh, Riley with it. Goes inside to Noah. Off to Eddings. Eddings up and good. Good pass by uh, the uh, Dragons, Noah Smith to uh, Headings, and Headings gets another big basket. Headings got a couple of points. Good job by Headings to cut to the basket when he saw it go inside to Smith. Smith lays it up to him, and he lays it in. 90, or about 65 seconds left to go here in the uh, first half. Play ball is there wide open. Uh, Ravel Rogers for his first two. Rogers got behind the defense, got an easy one. Seven-point advantage now for Cannon County. Ball goes over to Meadows. Kick it low to Headings. Headings back up front now. They'll go over to Met to Riley. Riley for a three good. Big basket by Riley Cooper. He hits the three ball. 
And uh, we'll be working it up this time. We'll be number 12 uh, at Bush. Bush with the ball. Bush, he's going to drive. We've got a blocking foul on Smith, and Smith picked up his third. I believe that's three on Nick. Maybe a second. Second. Jennings will come back in, and Smith will come out. Up will come Davenport, and out will go uh, Cunningham. Four-point lead now for the Lions with 30.9 seconds to go in the quarter. Come to halftime, we'll talk to uh, Trey Hall and uh, Julianne Horst about the uh, big uh, tournament coming up this weekend. Hopefully get a chance to talk with Coach uh, uh, Michael Green as well about the game here tonight. Our halftime stats are going to be brought to you by good folks at Showtime uh, Motors. Goes in the backcourt this time with the basketball is uh, Bush. Bush works it around looking for Davenport. Bush now kicks it over uh, to uh, number 10. That is Alexander with the ball. Alexander will drive in, puts up the little floater way off the mark. Rebound uh, Smith. You work with an opportunity now to cut into this lead as uh, Roger will bring it up quickly. Fires up the three, partially blocked, and Rogers comes away with it. We're at halftime. Halftime of this one, and it is at the half. Uh, York, 27. Cannon County, 31. Back in a moment. And back here at halftime, join him now, Coach uh, Michael Green. And, Coach, a huge win for your girls here tonight. Yes, yeah, a big district win for us, Gary. We, uh, we were hoping to go on to – I think we're two and one now in the district. Real, real big win. Cannon. I've watched a lot of film on Cannon, and uh, I was actually pretty worried about them. They, the way they move, they, they cut a lot, set a lot of screens, and uh, I thought they'd give us some trouble. But uh, glad to pull out the win. Coach, uh, they came out and that's, uh, with that uh, little bit of a trap defense. It kind of gave your girls a little bit of fits for a little bit. Yeah, we. Uh, of course, we watched film. We, we knew they were probably going to trap us. Uh, played us a lot more man than we thought. But I told the girls, if we do play us man, we should. You know, score every trip, hopefully. And uh, that second quarter, we had seven turnovers. And, uh, you know, that, that second quarter just killed us. And uh, luckily, luckily we came out and had a, had a strong third quarter for a change. Uh, we'd been struggling coming out in the third. But we had a had a good third quarter. And, uh, you know, we still just we, – we had nine turnovers in the first half. And uh, I told the girls, you know, we're just beating ourselves. we we got to take care of the ball. Been preaching it all year. In the uh, second half, we only had four turnovers, I think. And – you know, that's probably the difference in the game there for us. Coach, you uh, you got a good night from a, a lot of girls that uh, – all your girls come in and played well pretty much. Uh, had some big night from uh, uh, the freshmen. The freshmen, especially Gabby Beatty, had a big night. It seemed like when you need the big shots, she come through with she, it. She hit some threes for us, and that's what we've been needing. Uh, we've need, been needing some outside threats. And, uh, you know, I've been trying and trying to get her on out to the wing a little bit and knock, knock some down because she's got a great shot. Uh, I think she's lacking a little confidence the first half there and uh, ended up hitting two big ones in the second. Uh, I don't know what they, uh, for some reason, they kept us off the foul line pretty good. I, I know at one point we were two of two, and I think uh, Cannon County had already got up like 18. But then we uh, we finally got some foul shots there at the end and we had to start fouling. Coach, you got that big tournament coming up this weekend. You got some good teams in that one. Yeah, we uh, we start off with Bledsoe, and then we'll have to see uh, – see who we end up with after that. 
uh, three straight games, you know, in a game. That's, that's going to be four games here, you know, this week for us. So we're going to have to rest up and, uh, you know, hopefully we won't be won't be too tired by the time Saturday rolls around. The good thing is, though, this one was a huge district game. This was one mattered a little bit more. Oh, any any district game, Gary. I had, you know, watching film, I, I, I put uh, just myself from what I've seen, I, I'd put Cannon, you know, top three in the district, and I think everybody else probably would too, probably put them at number three. Uh, but I think overall just, uh, you know, they, they, could, they could probably give Efferman a pretty good game. Uh, I know the records, they've, they've beat a lot of teams. They've got, I think they're nine and two, nine and three, something like that. But uh, any district wins a great win, no matter how ugly it is. Now, Coach, uh, this course, uh, like you said, you win, it, it's, in this district, you got to win those home games. Yeah, you have to. You've got to, you've got to, and we, it was good to have a district home game. We, we went into a couple of tough crowds down there at the cab and uh, Upperman. And uh, tough crowd at Upper. <laughs> yeah, and that's hard to believe. It was also about 96 degrees in there mysteriously wow. somehow. You know, I don't know how that happened. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it was a, it's a big win. Any win, like like you said, any win in districts is a great win. Uh, Coach, uh, you got some good teams as you said in this tournament. Uh, the teams like Maplewood supposed to be really good. You got Red Bull, and they're pretty good uh, single A team. Clay County's playing better. Uh, it's going to be a tough. It's going to be a tough tournament it's, this weekend. Yeah, it's not going to be just uh, you know a rest, a, a resting three days. We've got we played Red Bull and uh, we scrimmaged them uh, before the season, and you know they're a tough bunch. They've been you know they beat some teams 30, 40 points, some decent teams. Uh, you know they gave us a little matchup problem. Uh, Clay County, of course, we played K uh, Clay County. We played them uh, early in the season. They're they're just nonstop. You know they're hard to keep up with. I think they'll improve throughout the season. They'll probably be what, probably the second, third best team in, in District 7A. Probably so. Well, Coach, we want to thank you for joining us. Uh, congratulations on a huge win here, and best of luck this weekend as you head into a really tough home tournament. Yeah, appreciate it, Gary. Have a happy new year. You too. And that was Coach uh, Michael Green, uh, whose uh, ladies won tonight. We're going to take a quick timeout, and then we'll be back to talk to some special guests in just a moment. Get those blue shots out of Hall, everybody. Thank you so much. Hey, you guys played pretty well, though. They looked a lot better than I thought they would. We're now under new ownership, and that means we can offer you better deals, improved service, and make your experience a much more pleasant one. So if you're in the need or you want a new car, truck, or SUV, the deals will never be better. Now let me introduce Melissa Sells, new owner of the all-new Showtime Ford. My husband, Derek, and I are honored to be your hometown Ford dealer. Many of you know us from Showtime Trailers and Car Friends. We want to invite everyone out to Showtime Ford, where our customers are number one and relationships are built on honesty and integrity. So come and see us or visit us online at www.showtimeford.com. Call us, one 877 Remember, folks, the all-new Showtime Ford, where Fords are cheaper, I Listen to WDEV for our grand opening announcement. And our halftime brought to you by the good folks at Showtime Ford. Uh, Join me now, I've got Trey Hall and Juliana Horst with us as uh, we're uh, getting ready to talk about uh, the big Christmas tournament, the holiday tournament, whatever you want to call it. It's the Sergeant York's Halls uh, Tournament. And uh, Trey, going to be some really good teams coming to York here in the next day or two. We really do have a lot of good teams coming from all across the state of Tennessee and a couple from Kentucky coming out to join us. Different uh, regions and classifications too. Of course, uh, this uh, is one of those tournaments that really it's not raising money for any certain thing. It's pretty much all of us funneled right back into the teams, right? Oh, yeah, it's funneled right back into the teams, and a lot of the money goes to the community, too, uh, from the teams shopping around at local stores and stuff like that. I think it's about a quarter of a million dollars that's donated, or not donated, but goes back into the community from this uh, tournament. Now, of course, uh, you don't get a lot of work during this time, do you? Oh, yes, I'm worked <laughs> to death. I'm worked to death during this thing. Wait a minute, I seen Juliana roll her eyes there. I, I'm not sure she agreed with that. She she likes to think she works more than I do, but she doesn't. <laughs> but you guys, uh, it's it's tough because it starts early in the morning on Thursday, and it's early morning every day right up through Saturday, right? Oh, yeah, up at 8 o'clock here and here till about 10 all the three days. And uh, you got some really good teams coming in, and of course York, the host team. Yeah, we, we we like to see York do well in the tournament. Oh yeah, we'd like to see them do well. There's going to be some tough competition this year. They're going to have to play hard. Your dad's went out and really uh, drummed up some good competition. He, yeah, you're supposed yeah. to make it a little bit easier for the home team. Yeah, 
<laughs> he didn't listen to that this year. There's some good teams coming. Uh, and I know they talked about Maplewood's really good. Uh, of course, Red yep. Bullen's playing really good now. They're you got Clay good County. Ball. Oh, and yeah. Clay County, Kentucky. Uh, you've got some good teams coming yep. in. Yeah, it's going to be some tough competition this year for sure. So uh, I know you guys, uh, tell us the times. That you have the tip-off times and everything for the first day? Yeah, tip-off for the first day will start at 9, and I think the last game is at 8 that day, and that's for each day. And so you're looking forward to being here from, what, 7 till midnight? Yep, pretty much. <laughs> She's happy to be here. She's excited. She's really She's excited. excited. Hey, but uh, – Hey, it's a good time of the year. It's a lot of fun. These tournaments are a lot of fun, and you're, as your dad mentioned, it brings in a lot of uh, folks to the community and to this uh, area. Oh, yeah. It brings in a lot of folks. I uh, like to get local businesses involved, go shop at them, and for them to just uh, realize how great Jamestown is. And uh, we're going to let uh, Juliana give us, tell us, Juliana, we want you to invite everybody out because Trey, Trey won't sing for us. So, Juliana, uh, t t everybody come out and tell everybody come out and uh, get ready for a great tournament. Yeah, everybody come out and join us. We'll have some good food and concessions and plenty of good games to watch. Hey, that's true. And uh, Juliana's going to help me call this last game here. <laughs> so, <laughs> <are you ready? laughs> hey, well, I appreciate you guys joining us, and uh, we're looking forward to the tournament this weekend. And now well, we're back to action here. York's uh, back out on the floor. We got uh, the Dragons out on the floor right now, as it will be with the basketball. Uh, Meadows, Meadows going to fire it up, and it's going to drop. And Roger Ladd starts the scoring here in the second half, and it's a, a two-point ball game. York with a big score there, and now uh, Kenny Kenny with the basketball. They'll work it over this time uh, to uh, number 10, Davenport. He's going to drive in, puts it up short. Rebound Cunningham. Cunningham tried to bounce it off the leg. I'm not sure why he tried to do that. He should have just turned down and laid it up, but he tried to bounce it off of Hunt Cun or off of Miller. I should say off of Riley Cooper, and when he did, he throwed it away. York down quickly uh, to uh, Noah Smith. Puts up the jumper. No good. York went for the tie on that one. Davenport going to walk it up the other end. Now, don't forget, folks, the uh, big uh, Sergeant York uh, Hall's uh, Southeastern Tournament going to come up this Thursday starts this Thursday morning with a good game between Clay County, Tennessee, and Clay County, Kentucky. So it, it'll battle Clay to start to see the uh, tournament. With the ball now is Kenny County. They try to work it underneath. Knocked away, stolen by Cooper. Good hands by Headings. Headings got a hand on it, and now we got timeout as uh, Rogers' shoes come untied. So Rogers going to tie his shoe, and York will have the basketball and, and a chance to tie or take the lead on this trip. Meadows got the first two of the second half here and cut it down to a two-point ball game. Meadows with the ball. Works it over now to uh, Smith. Back up now to Meadows. Meadows going to send it down the right side to Cooper. Cooper with the ball back up to Meadows. Meadows down the corner to Cooper. Cooper goes inside, uh, knocked away and stolen. Love comes up with it. Over to Davenport. Long pass to Cunningham, back to Davenport. Davenport will drive in, back out. Davenport with the ball. Gives it over this time uh, to uh, Cunningham. Cunningham off to Love. Love drives in, backs it out. Over now to, Brett, to a Bush, who's got the ball. York into man-to-man. -man. Bush looking to come around the pick. They'll reset their offense. 5.40 to go here in the third quarter. Love with the ball. Love going to take the jumper. No good. Rebound taken away by the Smith brothers, and they travel with it. They tied each other up. Got to communicate, and uh, the other one, you got it. But they turn it right back over to Cannon County, so the Lions with a chance to push that lead out. Long pass up to... Uh, out to a bush, and he's going to be fouled by Nick Smith now. Nick has three. Third personal foul on Nick. And Kenny Kenny with the basketball. They'll work it in this time to Bush. Bush cross the timeline. Bush looking to make a move, drives. Now takes it down the baseline, sends it over to Love inside. Cunningham will pull up the three. No good. Rebound headings. Here comes York with the basketball. Jennings getting ready to check back in. 
Now Meadows will pull for the three, and York takes their first lead of the night. Roger Meadows with a nickel in the quarter, and York has a one-point lead. First lead of the night for the Dragons. Driving down uh, will be Davenport. They'll give it over this time to Love. Love inside. Uh, they'll get back to Love, and he throws it over to Cunningham, who puts it up, and uh, Cannon County takes the lead right back as Brady Cunningham with the first two of the second half for the Lions, who lead by one. Ball comes out front now uh, to uh, to uh, Smith inside uh, to Noah Smith, and he's going to be fouled, and that one's going to go against number 12, Bush. His first, team's first. Rogers comes in. Nick Smith sets down with three fouls. Ball comes in now to Jennings. Jennings with the ball. Back out front now to Meadows. Meadows for the three, no good. Rebound pulled and knocked around and out of bounds off of Rogers. It'll remain uh, Dragon basketball. They'll work it in. Meadows to put it into play. Meadows looking, lobs it in to Cooper, and Cooper, good uh, catch. He wasn't expecting it. Now spins in the lane, little jumper, good. Riley with two more. Cooper's got seven on the line. The Dragons have a one-point lead. Cunningham going to re-enter the lineup here in a moment. Also coming in number five is driving and putting up the runner is uh, number 12, Bush. York leading or trailing now by one. Cannon County's led by as many as 10 in this one. Jennings with the ball, left wing. Down low to Headings. Headings looking. Headings drives down, sends it back out front to a Cooper. Off to uh, Meadows. Inside uh, to uh, Noah. Noah goes up and scores. Noah's got 14 on the night and pacing the Dragons. Back up by one now. Cannon County's working it down. Cannon with the ball. They'll give it to Davenport. He drops it off to Love. Love baseline jumper, no good. Rebound, though, by Davenport over to Rogers. And Rogers rejected by Riley Cooper. Riley Cooper said, you will respect my authority on that one. As York with the basketball now. Cross it over to, uh, to uh, Jennings. Jennings back up front now. Meadows with the ball inside to Headings. Headings back out now over to Cooper. Cooper for a three, good. Riley Cooper, a big three ball, and York has pulled out to a four-point advantage as we have 2.38 to play here in quarter uh, number three. Security Consultant, wishing you and your family a Merry Christmas. Let us help you keep your business and employees protected this holiday season with security from Twin Lakes. With video surveillance, burglary monitoring, fire and smoke detectors, and more, we've made security simple. Give me a call today at 931-528-2005 to make sure your business is protected this holiday Managing your medications has never been easier. With Medithrue Pharmacy's MedPack, your medications come organized by date and time, securely sealed in individual easy open packages. So when it's time to take your next dose, you just tear the package off the roll and your pills are there. That's all there is to it. No bottles, no bother. For more information, call us at 879-8133. Well, York now has their biggest lead of the night. They lead by four points as the Dragons uh, getting some big play from Riley Cooper here in the third. Riley's got five here in the quarter. With the ball front court comes uh, Ken Ken. Now we've got a foul on Noah. That'll be the reach on Noah Smith. That's his third personal. York, uh, one of those teams that doesn't have a deep bench, so they've got to stay out of foul trouble. Looking to work it in. They'll uh, now throw it in backcourt. And uh, Rogers, oh, they say he uh, jumped over, but Rogers actually called that one on one side and jumped over with it. So it should have been over and back, but no call by the official. With the ball is uh, 
Bush, Bush short jumper, won't go. Rebound taken away by Cooper, and Cooper travels with it. Cooper lost his balance, and they're going to whistle a walk on him. It'll remain Cannon County basketball. Ball comes in quickly uh, to uh, number 12. Now that's uh, Bush. With Bush spins the lane, takes the fall away. No good. Rebound Cunningham. Cunningham gives it over uh, to uh, Alexander, who puts up the floater. No good. Rebound taken away. Knocked on the floor. Going on the floor to get it is Cooper. And we got a jump ball between Cooper and uh, Looks like uh, number 10, Alexander. Alexander will bring it in, trailing by four. Just under two minutes left to go on this one. Ball will be lobbed in. They're going to throw that one all the way in the backcourt and run it down. Uh, will be Bush. Bush to the right side. Bush looking to drive, drives in, holds up, gives it out to Cunningham. Cunningham back to Bush. Bush drives in, looks for help. Now Bush going to travel with it. Good defense that time by Jennings. 90 seconds to go here in the third quarter. York by four. Dragons trying to pick up a huge district win here. Meadows gives it over to Jennings. Back up front to Cooper, off to Meadows. Inside to Headings, Headings back to Meadows. Meadows wide open, three is good. Roger that. And York has a seven point lead. Cannon Kenny with the ball, long pass. They tried to get over number five, but uh, uh, evidently Bush saw number five was about seven foot tall because he hummed that in the cheap seats. As now coming in, uh, Kenny Kane with some substitution. Love's back in. Uh, Davenport's back in. And number 11, Jakes, is back in. York by seven with a minute to go here in the third. Cooper with the basketball. Gives it off to Meadows. Down into Noah Smith. Noah's going to spin, drives to the rack, puts it up, and he's going to be fouled. And Love's going to pick up foul number one. And Meadows will go to the line. Or I should say, uh, Noah will go to the line. Roger will have a, or I should say, uh, Noah will have a pair here. Smith at the line, free throw, good. Nothing but cut for that one. York up now uh, with Noah's uh, 15th point of the night, looking for 16. Got it. York now by nine. Cannon County has been outscored in this quarter. Um, they've only put up four points here in the quarter, and York has uh, nine. Now long pass going to be knocked away by Cooper. Knocked away again by Noah Smith, picked up by Headings, and here comes York. Another turnover by Cannon County. Meadows with the ball over uh, to Jennings. Jennings will drop it off to Headings. Back up to Jennings, wide open for a three. Good. Jacob Jennings a big basket. And York now up by a dozen. Dragons starting to pull away in this one. Cannon can red hot in that first half, but it's gone stone cold here in the third. Ball goes over to Davenport. He'll fire the three and drain it. Davenport stops the bleeding for a moment for the uh, Lions and cuts it back to a nine-point game. Now firing up the buzzer. No good is Meadows. We're through three. End of three. It's York, 47, Cannon County, 38. comes to watching sports, no. there's no telling what you'll hear. No, 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 no. But when you order Pizza Hut for the game, you know exactly what you'll hear. What's this? Oh, that looks fantastic. Your favorite pizza. Ooh. Those awesome wings. What? Plus sides and desserts. Yeah. All waiting at PizzaHut.com to order now because no one out pizzas the hut. <laughs> What game? Product availability, prices, participation, delivery areas, and charges and minimum purchase required for delivery may vary. Delivery charges not.
quality workmanship and exceptional customer service have defined Southeastern drywall and construction of Jamestown. From custom-built homes, residential construction, remodeling to commercial construction, Southeastern drywall and construction is dedicated to providing the best quality at reasonable prices. We're also looking for good carpenters. Call Southeastern drywall and construction at 931-267-5435. A proud supporter of sports and education in our area. Well, the Dragons have a lead now of 47-38. York by nine. And final frame of this one, York comes back out uh, with the same ones who started the second half. It's Headings, uh, Cooper, the Smith brothers, and Meadows. Out front's Cooper. Gives it over Cooper with the ball right side. Meadows will reset it. Give it over now to Smith on the left wing. And uh, Noah has been Noah drive, put it up, no good. Riley with a rebound back up and good. Good board work by Riley Cooper. Cooper with another big basket. And York now takes an 11 point out, driving the other way and putting it up, no good. Coming up just a little bit short was Davenport. Back to the way Meadows going to lob it out for the dunk. Oh, pretty play as Riley Cooper dunks it with the two hands. A good alley oop to uh, from Roger Meadows to uh, Riley Cooper and the dunk. <laughs> Gives the Dragons a 13-point advantage. <coughs> Back the other way, Alexander with two. York with the ball the other way, leading by 11. Driving in and scoring is Meadows. Meadows gets that one to drop. You work up by 13. Cannon with the basketball looking to make a move. It's Alexander gives it over to Cunningham. Cunningham will fire the three. No good. Rebound. Good board work by Jonathan Headings. Rogers is going to re enter, and Cunningham will probably come out in a moment. Now Cooper wide open for the three. No good. Rebound. We're going to have Noah Smith going over the back, and I've got Noah for four. They've got him three there, so I've got him one too many. I gave him somebody else's, evidently. So three fouls on Smith. 53-40. York with a 13-point advantage, and Cannon with the ball. They go inside, drive it out wide open. Rogers gets underneath. Rogers gets an easy one there. Rogers got four on the night, cuts it to an 11-point ball game. Full court pressure, ball comes in front court to uh, Cooper. Cooper over to Meadows. Meadows off now uh, to Smith. Back out front to Noah Smith. He'll drive, puts it up with the left hand, no good, but he's fouled. That'll go against the Davenport. That'll be his second. Noah's looking for his 17th and 18th points with these free throws. There's 17. We'll have one more. Can make this an 18 point, or his 18th point of the night and make this a 13 point game and does. Took the shooters off and bounce over for that one. It's a 13 point York lead. Front court will come Alexander. Alexander looking to drive, takes it all the way to Rack, lays it up and in. Alexander gets it to him. We got a timeout called by Cannon County. Timeout called by the Lions with 528 to go here in the ball game. York leads it by 11. Quality workmanship and exceptional customer service have defined Southeastern drywall and construction of Jamestown. From custom-built homes, residential construction, remodeling to commercial construction, Southeastern drywall and construction is dedicated to providing the best quality at reasonable prices. We're also looking for good carpenters. Call Southeastern drywall and construction at 931-267-5435. A proud supporter of sports and education in our area. Back to action here now uh, with the basketball. York with the ball 
Leading by 11. They'll work it in to Smith. Back over to Meadows. Back to Smith. Smith up to Meadows. Meadows with the ball. Over to Cooper. Cooper back to Smith. Now off to Nick Smith. York taking some air out of it. Nick Smith with the ball. Gives it over to Cooper. Cooper. Off now uh, to uh, Smith. They'll go inside to uh, Roger. Roger, a little short jumper. No good, but we got a foul. And they'll whistle that one against l number one Davenport. That'll be third on him. Roger will go to the line for a pair of them here. First one good. York trying to prove, move to two and one in the district. They've beaten the Gab game, lost to Upperman. And they hit that one. Back the other way now comes uh, comes uh, Cannon Kenny with the ball. They drop it off to Love. Love the little jumper and Love uh, first points he's had in quite a while. Not even scoring in the third quarter. He's got 10 on the night. York with the basketball. They'll get it in front court. Nick Smith with it. Try to get down uh, to uh, Hiddings, but uh, got it over to uh, Alexander, and Alexander traveled with it. Good defense by Alexander. Just couldn't stop his momentum. Turned it over. York with the ball. They'll get it wide open. Cooper for the layup. Cooper got free. Somebody took a good nap on that one. And York up again by 13. Cunningham will re-enter the lineup. Ball goes inside to Love. Love against Cooper, and we're going to get Cooper for the push. Riley second. Team's four, so no shots here. Cunningham will come in. Rogers will go out. And they'll work it in to Cunningham. Cunningham with the ball. Cunningham. Looking for some help. Picks up his dribble. Now has to throw it. Throws it up. Throws it away. Picked up by Nick Smith. Nick with the basketball. Nick going to drive. Uh, double pumps it. Puts it up and scores. Pretty job by St. Nick with his third of the night. And York by 15 now. Cannon County really struggling here. Out front is Davenport. Davenport has it bounced off his foot out of bounds. Uh, so it goes off of Headings. Jennings will check back in for Headings, and Headings will come out. Jacob comes back in. Cunningham sets back down. And in back in the game comes Cantrell. They try to get the ball to Cantrell, overthrows it. Jennings got the ball. Jennings got a step. He'll drive. He'll stop. He'll lay it up and in. Jennings with two more. He's got a nickel on the night. Back the other way, driving a floater. No good as uh, going up was... Alexander, he'll go to the line, and now we that is the fourth on Bounce Noah Smith. Smith. And Luke Alexander will have a pair of free throws. Free throw good by Alexander. And he'll have one more. 47-63. York on top by 16. And by uh, 16, it'll stay as Alexander misses the second one. Back the other way, Cooper with the ball. Long pass down to Jennings in the corner. Jennings back up to Cooper. He'll take it over to Nick Smith, right side. Nick working out front against Cantrell. Nick a little quick for Cantrell. We got a timeout called by York. Timeout on the floor with 3.16 to go in the game. York leads it, 63-47. Customer service have defined Southeastern drywall and construction of Jamestown. From custom-built homes, residential construction, remodeling, to commercial construction, Southeastern drywall and construction is dedicated to providing the best quality at reasonable prices. We're also looking for good carpenters. Call Southeastern drywall and construction at 931-267-5435. A proud supporter of sports and education in our area. And we're getting set to get back to action. It will be York's basketball with 3.16 to go in the game. York on top by 16. 
They'll work the ball back court to Smith. Smith with the ball. And we're going to have a hand check on Cantrell. Cantrell just a little slow for Nick Smith as he just blew by Eli Cantrell, and Cantrell picks up the foul. 63-47. Ball comes in back court to Nick Smith. Nick with the ball. Nick works it up in the front court. Nick sends it over to Riley. Back to Nick. Nick Smith with the ball. Has it knocked away from mine? We're going to have a reaching foul on number 12. That's because Blake Bush's second personal. Meadows will bring it in under three minutes to go in this one. And we're going to have a timeout call by York. Timeout on the floor with 2.59 to go in the game. It's 63 47, York. Confidence. The one word you have to have when you choose a pharmacy. And Clark Ranch Drug Center has worked hard to earn yours. Whether filling a prescription or giving advice on non-prescription medicine or health and beauty aid, Clark Ranch Drug Center is the place to go for expert advice. Clark Ranch Drug Center, always earning your confidence. 2.59 left to go in this one, and uh, York with a 16-point advantage. York trailed the entire first half. Uh, took their first lead in the third, and now have stretched it out to a 16-point advantage and are looking to uh, pick up a huge uh, district win here tonight against Cannon County as they lead it 63-47. It was a full timeout, but Cannon County took the full timeout. York came back after just a few seconds. Dragons with 2.59 to go in the game. We'll work it in. They're in. You'll give the ball back court to Nick Smith. Nick Smith guarded by Love. The track get down stolen by Davenport. Davenport with the steal. Davenport's going to spin. He'll take it all the way himself. Scores and he's fouled. Davenport, that was a heck of a shot. And he'll go for the natural three here. Davenport can cut this back to a 13-point ball game. See a lot of time left to go on this one. He does. 63-50 now. York with the basketball. They'll work it in to uh, Meadows. Meadows trying to get back over Smith. Knocked away and knocked out of bounds. going to be Cannon County ball. So York turns it over, and we got a timeout called by Coach Stays. Timeout on the floor. 2.43 to go here in the third. It's 63.50, York. Like a great sports team needs a great captain to lead them, a county needs a great executive to move it forward. And Pinterest County has it in Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy believes in this county and its endless possibilities. So for great sports and a great county, be like county executive Jimmy Johnson. And back Pinterest County all the way. 2.43 left to go in the ball game. York with a 13-point lead. Cannon County, Cannon County trying to cut in this lead with 2.43 to go. It's 63-50. Uh, Cannon County has cut it back to 13. A big play a moment ago, and they got the ball right back on the inbounds steal. So it will be Cannon County ball to work in. They can cut it down in a, to a 10 with a three here. They're looking to work it in. They'll uh, look, look, look. Finally get it in uh, to uh, Bush. Bush takes the little jumper. No good. Rebound is by Jennings. Good board work by Jacob. Here come the Dragons. Smith almost has it stolen. We have a foul on uh, number 12, Bush. Bush picks up the foul with two and a half minutes to go in the ball game, and that'll send Nick Smith to the line. Nick with only three points on the night. Looking for to move it up to five. He can knock these down. First one rolls and drops. I got the shooter's hop definitely on that one. He'll have one more. You work by 14. Still 233 to play, and you work uh, by 15. Took both of them got the roll on that one. As back the other way now comes Davenport. Davenport looking to make a move now. Takes it up and scores. Davenport trying to carry his team back into this one. Meadows with the ball, long pass over to Smith, off to Cooper. Cooper up to uh, 
Smith back over to Meadows, and Meadows is going to be fouled by Cantrell. Cantrell's got his second. And at the line will be Roger Meadows. Meadows have a one and one here. Free throw is good. That one took a lot of rim, but falls home. York by 14. Looking for 15 in this one. Missed the second one. Rebound, though, uh, taken away by Alexander. Alexander on the run. Alexander going to drive coast to coast off the glass. No good. Rebound, Cooper. And Cooper is going to be fouled by Love. Love picks up foul number two. 205 left to go on this one. York is going to improve. If this hangs on, York will improve to six and four on the season. Two and one in district play with this big tournament coming up. Hits the front end of it. Cooper's had a good ball game tonight. Second one, good as well. Cooper hit a couple big ones there, and now it's up to a 16-point lead. York to, or Cantrell with the ball. Cantrell to Bush. Bush drives, has it stolen by Jennings. Good hands by Jennings. And back the other way, Cantrell's going to be called for the foul. Cantrell's going to pick up foul number three. Cannon County is going to fall to nine and five on the season, and that's going to be their first loss of the district in this one. You work up uh, by 15, or by 16, I should say. Now 17, the Smith hits that one. He'll have one more. Second one, good. 18-point lead now for York as they're going to put, take a big, big district win here. A game they trailed the entire first half. Back the other way, Davenport drives, puts up the little sh uh, shot, no good. Rebound Jennings. Over to Cooper. Cooper off to Smith. Smith going to bring it up the floor, and Smith's going to be bumped by Love. Love will have his third. And we're in a double bonus now as uh, York Smith can push this to a 20-point advantage. And for Cannon County, it's a little too little too late as we got a buck 37 left to go on this one. First one, good. A 19-point York lead. Makes it a seven-possession game at best. Second one is no good. He missed the uh, second one, so it's a 19-point game. Coming back the other way, Cannon with the basketball. They'll go down low this time uh, to number 12, uh, Bush, and Bush is going to be fouled by Meadows. That's Rogers' first foul of the night. Did they? Okay, they call that one on Nick Smith, so Nick's going to foul out. Nick on the night ends up with six, seven, eight points on the night. So Nick Smith fouls out. I guess where they call that against Meadows, but the free throw by number 12 is good. Blake Bush hits the front end of it. We'll have one more. 53-71. York uh, opening this one up. Second one rolls and drops. Bush hits both ends of it, and it's 71-54. York with the ball, Smith over to Meadows. Long pass up, picked off as Meadows tries the long pass, it's picked off. And back the other way, missing the alley-oop was Bush in driving up and Davin, or make it Alexander with two more. Alexander gets the two and will go for the natural three. Alexander. That's a number 23, Cooper. Riley going to pick up his third personal. At the line will be number 10, Alexander, for the natural three. Missed it. Rebound is by Cooper. Cooper with the board, and Riley gives it over to Meadows. Back over to Cooper. On up to Jennings. Jennings with the ball. Head to Headings. Headings out to Meadows. And Meadows going to be fouled by Davenport. That'll be four on Davenport. He's on the brink of extinction. 
Davenport's got 11 points on the nine. Had the line, Roger Meadows. He's got a pair of them here. First one goes. That one definitely had a shooter's hop on it. Roger's got 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 points on the night. 20 points for Roger Meadows. We're down under a minute left to go in this one. 73 56, York by 17. Driving up, putting up the runner, and scoring is uh, Bush. And Kenny Kenny takes a timeout. Timeout on the floor with 51.7 seconds to go. York on top by 15. Whether you're competing on the athletic field or working hard in the classroom, remember you have the support of First Volunteer Bank, the bank with personality. We're behind you 100% of the way. Good luck to all the area teams. Play tough and play fair. And remember when it comes to helping you with your banking needs, we're First Volunteer Bank, the bank with personality. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. And now over and over. Gary Maxwell Insurance off. Back here with 51.7 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. York on top, 73-58. About uh, 52 seconds away from uh, picking up a huge win. Uh, York going to win this one. I uh, don't see anything changing that. It'd have to be a great comeback. Headings with the ball, and Headings is finally going to be fouled by Alexander. And Johnlin's had a pretty good ball game tonight. He'll go to the line looking for his six points of the night if he can get them both. At the line for York, number 32, Eddings. Jonathan going to go to the line. The south ball drains the first one. We'll have one more. Second one, good as well. That's both ends of it. He's got six on the night. 75-58. Cannon can with the ball. They'll work it up quickly. Looking to drive is uh, Davenport. He goes up and he's fouled by Meadows. Roger going to pick up his second. And at the line will be Davenport for a pair of them. York on their way to a big win here. Free throw with Davenport, no good. Line drive, that one. Line drive it and did not follow through either one on that one. Second one is good. One out of two, 75-59, a 16-point York lead. Smith with the ball over to Cooper. Cooper went back over to Noah Smith. Up quickly to Meadows. Meadows stops, gives it down the corner to Jennings. Back up front to Cooper. Off to Smith. Noah with the ball. Drives around, gives it off to Meadows. Meadows drives around. Nowhere to go. It brings it back out. 20 seconds left to go on this one. And Kenny K obviously not going to foul anymore as Meadows with the ball. You're going to win this one. And it looks like uh, that could be your final score. As it's winding down now, and we're down to the last two seconds, and that is your ball game. York wins it. Your final here tonight, 75-59, back in a couple of minutes. Offering area insurance is located at 300 West Central Avenue in Jamestown. Get a free quote for your home, auto, life, or business with no obligation to buy. Call 879-1251. Shane Beatty, Katie Cooper, Candy Robbins, and Brad Rains agents, along with Jeff Robbins, manager, will be happy to assist you. That's Gary Maxwell Insurance, located at 300 West Central Avenue with locations in Livingston, Cookville, and Gainesboro. Are you still filling your prescriptions at a chain or big box pharmacy? This is Philip Hall encouraging you to make the switch to Hall Family Pharmacy. When you do business with Hall Family Pharmacy, you're helping to support local schools and organizations because we reinvest your money right back into the community we call home. Each prescription filled at a locally owned pharmacy is money kept in the community. We provide jobs for people right here in Fisher's County. We offer countywide delivery, and we are the only pharmacy contacted with an independent and family-based drug wholesaler who is also dedicated to the well-being of our region. Prescription 
Prescription Drug Abuse Plagues Our Region, and by filling your prescription at Hall Family Pharmacy, you're supporting efforts to stop the abuse. Stop by or give us a call at one of our convenient locations in Jamestown or Clark Range, and our helpful staff will help you make the switch today. And back here where York sweeps the night over Cannon County. The uh, Dragons and Lady Dragons both winning the night. Big wins for both. Big district wins for both teams. And uh, that's uh, big wins, as we said, for York winning both of them here tonight. And uh, a good night for the Dragons and Lady Dragons as they both win and pick up big district wins. Let's take a look at this final game here. As uh, we have uh, for York, uh, Noah Smith with... 18-20 for Roger Meadows. And uh, we had 18 for Riley Cooper, 8 for Nick Smith, 5 for Jacob Jennings, 6 for Jonathan Headings. For Cannon, they were paced by Gus Davenport with 12, or I should say Luke Alexander with 17. Davenport with 12, 10 for Love, 5 in the game for Cunningham, 3 for Jakes, and 4 in the game for Rogers. So a big win for the Dragons as uh, we get set uh, now to head into uh, the second half of the season here. Just days. So we're going to take a, a quick timeout. Our uh, uh, post-game show brought to you by Progressive Savings Bank. We'll take a look at these two games. We'll take a look at what's coming up as far as the uh, Halls tournament. We'll take a look at what else we have around the area. Of course, some other teams playing today as well and what other games we've got coming up as well. All that's coming up here on the Progressive post-game show. Get behind our local schools. Join the Parent Teachers Group and help improve the quality of education. Sponsor school activities. Go to a ball game, hear a concert, reach higher. Progressive Savings Bank, insured by FDIC. And back here where York sweeps Cannon County here tonight. As we said in the nightcap here tonight, it was York winning 75-59 over uh, Cannon County. I keep saying nighttime, but really it's, it's late afternoon. We're, we're right now at 4 o'clock. So York comes away with a big win in both games tonight. They win the opener. Uh, girls won the opener 59-51. The boys take uh, the evening contest 75-59. Welcome to the Progressive Post Game Show. Hopefully we'll get a chance to talk with Coach Russell Taze. If not, we will uh, talk to him later. But uh, York picks up two wins here tonight. They are going to be in that uh, big tournament coming up. The Halls uh, Sergeant York Southeastern uh, uh, Tournament uh, that's going to get underway this uh, Thursday as it'll be uh, tipping off at 9.30 in the morning. They'll take a look at the girls at 9.30. Clay County, Kentucky plays Clay County, Tennessee. 12.30, Cloudland versus Stratford. York will play Bledsoe County at 3.30. And Red Bull will play Maplewood at 6.30. That should be a good one. Boys uh, first day sees Northview Academy versus Redbird Christian at 11. Clay County versus Bledsoe County at 2. Red Bull versus Cloudland at 5. And York versus Washburn at 8 o'clock. So that's a look at those games coming up now. Uh, Clark Range was in action today. The Lady Buffaloes uh, won their game earlier today as they swept that uh, tournament down at uh, in uh, in uh, Florida. As York or Clark Range won their division in that one, the final uh, for the Lady Buffaloes today, 73-22 over Evangelical Christian. That was at the Pensacola basketball event. Now we haven't got a score yet on the Clark Range boys game. They were actually over at the Oneida tournament, and we haven't uh, got a, cut, a word yet in from that. So uh, we haven't seen the final on that one. But Clark Range boys were playing uh, Baptist, uh, Faith Baptist Academy, I believe, out of uh, Scott County. And to see Coach Russell Tays making his way over here, we'll talk with him for a moment as his boys come away with a huge win here this afternoon over a pretty good Cannon County team. And... Uh, York uh, with a huge win here. Join him now, Coach Russell Taze. And, Coach, uh, your boys got off with a little bit of a slow start, but the second half it was like night and day. Oh, yeah, Gary. I was, I was really uh, pleased with how we came back out the second half. Uh, we, you know, we, we looked a little rusty. We didn't practice yesterday. And, uh, uh, you know, we came out a little rusty. Nick and Noah had been out a, a couple of days last week of practice. And, uh, uh but uh, I was really impressed how we kind of picked it up defensively. I think uh, with about three minutes to go, they had scored 53 points or something like that, or two minutes to go. 
uh, and had 31 or something like that at the half. So, so we've done a really good job second half defensively on them. And, uh, I, you know, I thought, you know, again, if, if, if this group continues to, to kind of come together and, and with focus and with passion and energy, uh, we're just, I, you know, it, it's a type of group that we can just get better and better and better at what we're doing. And, and uh, I thought second half we, we looked really, really good in that regard. And, and uh, I think we got a group of guys that are playing together and they've got a, a goal in mind. And we just got to keep them moving in that direction. Coach, it seemed as though in that first half, uh, Ken County was just getting a lot of, a lot of just lucky bounces. They were getting a lot of just that roll in shots that normally I don't think they'd make. No, but, but you know we knew they're they're, uh, uh, you know they've got four guys that are long and athletic, and uh, you know ten and and one and twelve all can score the ball. They. They're, they're good at attacking the basket, and uh, they can shoot it outside on the perimeter. Uh, we were just a little lazy in the first half, not covering, uh, not getting off the ball. You know, we, we, you know, we try to trap a, a ball screen a lot of times, and, you know, we get the trap, and their guys late getting there, and, and you know, and then they get get, uh, get some easy baskets. Second half, we've done a better, better job of covering that, and they kind of almost went away from the ball screen because we got a couple steals off of because we reacted better. Uh, but but they've got a good team, and uh, uh, you know I think I think they'll be a factor moving on. You know they're they're going to be right there in the mix because uh, I think uh, uh, I think it's a group. You know they'll they'll get better. Uh, so so we just got to keep working for ourselves. You know just keep working and uh, uh, keep coming together as a, as a unit. And uh, I saw a lot of good things the second half, just playing together and. And, uh, you know, we just got to keep that, keep that momentum, keep it going the same direction. Coach, uh, it's important in this district race to win your home games. You've got to protect your court because there's some tough road games ahead as well. Oh, exactly. Uh, you know, going to County County, that's gonna, that'll, be a, that'll be one of our tougher ball games, you know. And you got, uh, you know, we got, got up and we got that one. But, but anywhere you go in the district, if you're not focused in and ready to play and, and ready to get after it, uh, you're gonna have a difficult time winning on the road, so you got to take care of your home court. You can't, you can't let people come into your home court and and, and get wins. And uh, I thought our guys kind of again bowed their neck here a little bit late and and uh, came back and done what they need to do. And and uh, uh, once we got the lead, you know, uh, there in the sec third quarter. Uh, we did a good job just staying focused and just keep pressing, pushing the lead out. We've done a better job of getting the ball inside. Uh, you know, Riley and Noah done a good job forcing out. Roger even got got to the in, uh, into the interior some, and you know, got some offensive rebounds and stuff. We 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 attacked the inside better the second half than we did the first half, and I think that was a big factor in it. Coach, you got a, a big tournament coming up this weekend. It's going to be tough for you guys. You know, you, you're not the deepest bench in the world, and uh, when you've got three back-to-back -back games day after day, uh, that bench uh, has got some of those kids on the bench going to have to come out and, and play some ball. Yeah, well, we've got we got a couple guys. You know, uh, John Heddings come in tonight and done a great job. Outstanding job. job. Done a great job, and Jacobs, uh, you know, d done a good, solid job. Got a got uh, got a couple steals defensively. Uh, you know, uh, I, I really think that these other guys, they're going to keep coming on. They're going to keep improving, and, and that's going to help us down the stretch, you know, uh, uh, because we're going to have to have some depth. And, and you, know, I, uh, you know, like I told, uh, I told you know, Nick, Noah, Riley, and, and Roger that, that they've got to be some really tough son of a guns, you know, because uh, there's you're not going to be able to go to the bench much until some of these other guys – begin to improve and start stepping forward and uh, showing confidence that they can get out there and do the job. And uh, like I said, right now, Jacob has uh, had a good game tonight, and I thought Jonathan had a good game. And, and we got a couple other guys that, uh, you know, we're still looking at and, and hoping they keep developing and coming along, and, and that's just going to make us better uh, as they do. So. Coach, this tournament that's coming up, you got uh, teams, uh, you got uh, Northview Academy, Redbird Christian out here has got one of the premier players out of Kentucky playing for them. You got Bledsoe County, Clay County, a team you've already seen. You got Dalton Marsh and the Red Bull and Springs Bulldogs, one of the yeah. tougher teams in single A. Cloudland and Washburn all in that tournament. There's going to be no easy nights in it. It's a good tournament, uh, and uh, I think uh – uh, Philip Hall's done a good job finding some, you know, uh, really good quality teams and uh, makes it a, a good tournament. And, 
uh, you know, playing three nights or three days in a row is going to be a test for us again uh, because there's some good teams in the tournament and uh, we're going to have to play some good basketball. You know, we're going to have to play physical and we're going to have to play aggressive and, and, uh, and that means, you know, playing back to back to back nights. And uh, so it's, it's a good tournament and uh, I think it's a strong tournament and uh, be a good test for us here. Well, Coach One Leggy rejoins. Congratulations on a huge district win here. and Looking forward to the second half of the season kicking off. All right. Thank you, Gary. And that was Coach Russell Taze, whose uh, Dragons will win tonight. Lady Dragons win tonight. Uh, now, after tonight, of course, York's got uh, Thursday. They'll be in that, uh, as we said, in that classic or that tournament here at York Institute, the Hall Southeastern uh, Tournament, Hall Sergeant York Southeastern Tournament. Then after that, uh, we've got, uh, let's see, uh, also this week, uh, Piggy County going to be back in action this week, and we'll have a live broadcast of the Piggy County game coming up on uh, Friday night as Piggy County travels to Livingston, which is always a great matchup between those two teams. And let's see, and then uh, let's see, Clark Range's next action, I believe, will be on the seventh at Monterey, and we are scheduled to have that one, so we should be down at Monterey on the seventh with the Clark Range Buffaloes and Lady Buffaloes. Well, it's time now for one thing left to do. That's our Halls Family Pharmacy Player of the Game. We'll be back with that right after this. Hello, this is Philip Hall with Hall Family Pharmacy and Hall Sports and Outdoors. We are proud to sponsor this broadcast Player of the Game. Be a part of the winning team. Halls is proud to be this area's number one pharmacy. And now you may visit our expansion in downtown Jamestown for all things sports and outdoors and a complete line of sports medicine equipment. And our Halls Family Pharmacy Player of the Games uh, for tonight. We're going to go uh, a little bit different tonight. We got uh, in the girls' contest, Gabby Beatty. Gabby had 15 points on the night, had some great big baskets when York needed them. Every time Kenny came, made a run. Gabby seemed to come through with some big baskets. So the freshman, Gabby Beatty, is our Player of the Game in the girls. And in the night cap, our Player of the Game goes to Riley Cooper. Riley had some big uh, games, a big game tonight. He ended up with 18 points on the night, had some big baskets, uh, some great rebounds, and some blocks shots. Just a great night uh, for Riley. So Riley Cooper and uh, Gabby Beatty, our Halls Family Pharmacy players of the game. Folks, uh, that's going to wrap it up for us from here tonight as uh, we uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, we apologize once again that this didn't get on uh, live as we had hoped. But we'll work on that and we'll try to get that at a later day. Until our next action, which will be on, well, actually, we'll have a game on Friday night. It'll be a check deal out. They'll have the call of the Piggy County and uh, Livingston game. My next game will be, uh, I think, the 7th when the uh, uh, Buffaloes and Lady Buffaloes travel to Monterey. Until then, for 15104 Sports, I'm Gary Clark. See you at the game.